good to go. <clears throat> nice. I'm just finishing putting this dagger underneath their weapons, and then I'm nope. fine. Oh yeah, no problem. Yeah, no, no problem. I just meant as a raid and his maps for next Monday. Oh. As if not, I don't know how long this is going to take you guys. You might, you could, you, you should be able to get it done in a night, but um, it just depends on what you end up deciding to do. As usual, right? That's what you guys choose to do. Oh. Back. Always try and finish it at a later time, too. Yeah, that's true, too. So, whatever you want to do, take a break. Come part, back. part two. No big deal. Should have just ended it now. There we go. Alright. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and set the stage. Some of you, essentially, this is a one-shot. It's also a continuation of a previous um, previous module, so it's sort of a series of a you know, longer story arc. But in this particular one-shot, you've all been contracted to. Uh, Sia was part of a group of of adventurers who was contracted to try to rescue the. Ingenue or uh, lady friend, if you will, of a particular noble in the city of Westfall. The city of Westfall is a large trading city situated situated right on this large river called the Weemall River. It flows from east to west, west to the ocean. And as such, it's sort of a hub for all sorts of trading activity, different races, different people, all sorts of things. So there's a lot of activity there. In that city, at a particular inn known as the Flying Frog Inn, Sia and a couple other adventurers whom she met and count were involved in a, it appeared to be a robbery at first, but then it turned out it was just a cover for a kidnapping of this Lord named Lord Woosley of his lady friend. The adventurers, Sia and the adventurers were able to fend off the kidnappers uh, after killing what appeared to be one of the leaders of the kidnappers they found a note directing them to meet at this place called the Morning Glory Inn just outside of town about a day's travel Sia and the adventurers went to the inn at the behest of Lord Woosley to try to find out why these kidnappers have been hired to abduct his lady friend he promised them all a reward of 25 gold if they did so. Might have been 30, I don't recall. And the adventurers took up the request, headed out to the Morning Glory Inn, encountered who appeared to be the head of the band, or at least a higher ranking individual who had hired some of the the band of thugs called the Badgers, who operate in the poorer parts of Westfall. And they defeated him and his hirelings. And that's where Sia acquired the, the shiny dagger and some of that healing salve. Sia also recovered some notes indicating that this particular individual, Marshawn, was in league with a shady, nondescript, and mysterious person only known as the Masked One. And that... It, the notes indicated there was some sort of rendezvous that needed to, that was going to happen when Marshawn took possession of Lady Woosley's friend, and he would bring her back to somewhere east of Rivertown. There's actually a little map that heads out along the east, sort of it's just following the southern shore of the Weemaw River through these this ancient old town that's been a ruin for many for probably 100 200 years and then east of that on the southern slopes of the Y East Mountain that is that's at least where Sia thinks the rendezvous will take place based on the materials she recovered from Marshawn. Unfortunately Marshawn was killed and was unable to be questioned. So Lord Woosley has hired you all to head east 
following this map and hopefully find out who is uh, who is behind Marshawn's attempt to kidnap his friend and determine what their motives are in the kidnapping and if there are any further sort of nefarious plans toward late uh, toward Lord Woosley or his friend Sky or anyone else he knows and why they would do such a thing and if possible to thwart this individual from ever doing it again he is quite upset about the attempt on the attempted kidnapping and he wishes to make sure this person is uh, brought to ju- brought to justice at the very least but any information you can gather is is certainly a secondary objective. So, you've been sent out from Westfall to this small little farming community called Gray's Home. Gray's Home situated on the southern shore of the Weemaw River along the road. It's still well within the borders of the Western Kingdom, which is a well-populated kingdom, all races and and types of individuals, mostly dominated by elves, half-elves, humans, but there's a good mix of individuals there. As you head further east from Gray's home, it's not a very well-traveled road. Again, the town of Rivertown, which a couple hundred years ago was quite a large trading hub, was destroyed by raiders from the north. And as such, it has been essentially a ruin that no one goes to anymore. There are all sorts of strange inhabitants and rumors about what's going on in Rivertown. So basically Graysom sort of the last stop of civilization before you keep going east to the border of the Western Kingdom. It's certainly the last village of any size before you go there. So uh, your plan is to head to Graysom, find out any information you can from there, and then follow this map eastward to try to find this individual. Any questions? Nope. Okay. So, Sia, looks like your previous compadres are no longer with you, but you've got a new batch of comrades here. Bambi, Tolkas, and Bastion. Maybe each one of you could say something a little bit about yourself so we have an idea of what you are, what you sort of look like, why you're headed, why you were recruited uh, by Sia, why you agreed to go on this mission. Well, I'm a scholar and I'm assuming Kingdom would have a library. Books and notes and books and books and Cer- yeah, certainly the Lord would have access. To- <laughs> yeah, certainly the Lord would have access to a great deal of of books and scholarly materials that you currently do not. So, by accomplishing this task for Him, that would get you in His good graces and perhaps get you access to materials you, which you currently do not have access to. And I'll step forward and <clears throat> I'll look. Uh, you know, five foot eight human. And I'll say, I am a monk. I am here because my masters tell me I need practice. And also, then I polymorph back into a seven foot nine furbog and say, I am a furbog. Wow. And what does a furbog look like <clears throat> exactly? Uh, if you open, look at my character sheet, I got it in the bio. Okay. We can show that to everyone. Seven foot nine. <clears throat> Tolkus. Okay. Uh, I don't see anything in your bio, but I just saw, uh, I just saw you just showed it to everyone. Oh, the picture, yeah. Okay. So you look, you substantially look at like look- this picture then. Basically humanoid, but very large. Very large. Yes, sir. Sort of elven ears and a flat nose. Well, we all have red noses for some reason. Are you drunk? <laughs> Why do you all have red noses? Yeah, I think it's just a genetic thing. Hmm. Maybe to attract mates or something. Oh, do just the men have the noses or the males? Males. They all do. Hmm. Interesting. 
Do they glow at night, or are they visible from afar? Yeah, I feel like they should. Do so they can glow? see through fog and stuff. Do they glow more intensely <laughs> when they be <laughs> you get within proximity of a potential mate? Or a like? Yeah, when when I'm needed the most, that's when it glows brightest. <laughs> Bambi, Bramble yeah. Bush. This is Sia Tabaxi. Sia, why don't you go ahead and give us a quick description of what you are, who you are, why you're on this? Well, I am a Tabaxi. And so I have uh, very feline features. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. You get the idea. Okay. Well, I, like nice. to, I like to I like to scratch shit. Okay. Stretch out. Think of new <clears throat> ways to use my tail. Interesting. And then last but not least, or perhaps least, we have Bastion. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'm Bastion Cornwin. I from the Cornwit family. We uh we import a lot of corn to to Lord Woosley, so you know, my father told me to come to this do this. I don't really know what we're doing, but I'm just here. Hmm. You guys want some corn? I got some with me. It's real famous. And I like pass out corn to everybody, but it's like it's not like the like the good like corn that we've already made. I clearly stole this off the like um, the family farm, and it's like all nasty and shit, and hasn't been cleaned. Yum. Yum. <laughs> Very yum. Okay. Does anybody want to buy any last minute things or purchase any last minute things in Westfall before you head out eastward toward Gray's home? Back. Um, not that I want to buy something, but the arcane recovery thing on my class features does not actually tell me how many slots it can recover. It just gives me the formula, hmm. which I'm assuming it's one, but because two divided by two is one. Yeah, that's one level one spell at the moment. Yeah. So Arcane Recovery will give you one level one spell, right? Okay, cool. How much is an Explorer's Pack? Is it like 39 gold or something? Or I don't fucking remember. I don't, um, I don't put this in. I don't recall off the top of my head. Anybody have a player's handbook handy? Uh, Always. Nice. Yeah. It's, this is the one thing that like I hate the most. It's not in the handouts at all. I tried looking okay, back. so what is it? Your the Explorers pack? Yeah, the Explorers pack. That would be ten gold pieces. Ten? Yes, sir. I can go through all the items if you want. No, please don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What is each item, and how much is it worth, please? Alphabet. Okay. Is it well, <laughs> the backpack that comes with it is five gold pieces. A bed roll that Kill comes yourself. with it. <laughs> this is just off the top of my head, mind you. This is how much I've dealt with this shit. Um, and what are the details of my spell book? Is it just where I write all my spells at? Yeah. Yes. I have never wazard before. <laughs> Liar, you orc wazard before. No, I didn't. My little one shot that we did in Kelvin's place? I was a warlock. I thought you were an orc war wizard. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you're headed on foot then? Yeah, you can purchase I'm that. I'm going to grab some extra arrows just in case. Yeah, sure. Go for it. Maybe a couple other mundane items. Okay. I want a solid gold bust. And by bust, I do mean the boots. Broke. Buy one pig. 
Oh, you could ride a pig. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna ride a pig. Look at barbarian is riding a pig. This is the best purchase of all my D my whole D and D. Oh my god. Oh. Ride some pigs. Okay, just throwing a couple people Probably on here. Probably doesn't benefit me. Either. Page in the PHP. Essentially, so, so you're gonna head out toward Gray's home. It'll take you about a, a little over a day to get there, even at a. Well, actually, we'll say you've already you've already started off. You're at the Morning Glory Inn, and you've struck out from there. So it'll only take you about a day walking, just a little less than a day, since Gray's home is a little under 30 miles, about 20 miles or so from Morning Glory Inn. So about a day's walk, a day's travel. Again, the road the road from Morning Glory into Graceholm is fairly well traveled. It doesn't get a ton of traffic because Graceholm is a fairly small village farming community. There's certainly a lot more traffic coming from the South Road there, which the road sort of splits as you head eastward from the Morning Glory Inn. And as you get on that main road following the meandering mighty Weemal River, um, you don't really see any traffic, but the road is pretty well kept up. Takes you the better part of the day. The weather's nice. You're talking, it's it's late spring. It's probably 80, 75 degrees. It's got a nice breeze. Sunny, bright. Uh, a lot of the mountain flowers and wildflowers are blooming. So you see a lot of the fields the high, of high grasses. You've got a lot of different kinds of... Uh, meadow flowers, things like that, blues and reds and oranges, all sprinkled throughout the tall grasses. Uh, you see lupins, low-lying lupins that are blooming as well. Uh, you see lots of wildlife as you go. You see deer in the distance. You see rabbits and typical smaller game as you're headed down the road. Again, nobody really on the road, so it's You've got that to yourselves. But, you know, again, you didn't expect a ton of traffic this way either. After about eight hours of walking, you get to... Oh, you can also see the Y-East Mountain looming in the west there. It's just a massive mountain. Snow-capped peaks. It's probably 11,000, 12,000 feet high. And it just dominates the entire valley, this entire river valley. Uh, it's just it's the one of the most prominent features of the river valley besides the river itself and um, it's just a majestic sight on a clear day like this the clear blue sky and you can also see you know herons along the river hawks flying hawks and vultures flying up in the air and as you walk into gray's home let me just take your little guys here you can see even from a couple miles or several hundred yards out, you can see the small farming community of Gray's Home. A lot of scattered little farms, uh, little small wooden, not not so much cabins. They're well built buildings, but they're small. Uh, they're very um, they make they maximize the use of space. Let's put it that way. They're not ostentatious at all. Not like some of the buildings that you saw in Westfall. This is definitely a very small, frugal farming community. You can see people going about their business. You see men, women. There are some children running around as well. You also see livestock sort of meandering. Um, the, the village is sort of split on either side of the road, the north and south of the road. You can see some farmhouses. 
And as you come in on this eastern part of the road here, a couple people give you a look as you come in, since you are strangers. That's what it looks like. This is like Gray's Home 2.0. Yeah, it's Gray's Home 2.0. Hey. So, some of the fields are fallow. Some of the fields are in use with uh, different types of crops. And you can see, again, the people are going about their day doing chores, working. Etc. You see one sort of sort of congregation of buildings near the center, which appears to be the fledgling center of this village. There's a larger building made out of these huge wooden timbers and beams, and it appears to be perhaps a traveler's lodge or an inn of some kind, or certainly the main building or main meeting hall of this city or this village. A small village. One thing you notice about the people, they all look very similar. They all have sort of similar shaped features, hair color, eye color. There's not a lot of diversity here. They seem to be a very insular community of people who um, probably don't get a lot of outside blood in the community. Do you get what he's saying? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's like mommy and daddy was related before the marriage. Oh, wait. This reminds me of back home. Can I make a nature check and see, like, these fields and stuff and, like, see if this is, like, as good as, like, yeah. other, like, yeah, absolutely. things I've seen before? Yeah, go ahead and make a nature check. All right, so first thing you notice, Tulkus, sorry, back to Bastion. Bastion, sorry. Is some of these, yeah, this seems to be sort of a wheat like crop, a uh, late winter wheat perhaps that's being farmed under. There is some corn that's growing. Uh, certainly a very early time of year to be growing corn, but there's some corn like plants growing and you notice that they're doing pretty well in some of these fields there are a couple fields that just look in really bad shape and you're not sure if it's some sort of blight certainly they're not being tended correctly and it just seems to you to be a complete waste of farmland for whatever reason which seems odd because in a place like this certainly it seem like they're maximizing their resources so that kind of strikes you as a little bit strange but other than that, yeah, it seems to be growing the same types of crops, uh, similar seasonal things that your your little village would grow, only at a larger scale. And, and you're kind of impressed by some of the sizes of the barns and the health of the different animals and the livestock. Uh, it looks like it's, uh, you know, if these weren't, if this were a halfling village, uh, this would be pretty, pretty nice place to live, you'd think. Okay, so as you head toward the center of town, you're meeting by this. You, two things you notice. First of all, you notice there's a sign outside of this larger building that says it's a picture of a woman on the placard. There's a picture of it looks like a woman with a big chicken, and she's pulling feathers out of the chicken. And underneath it says "Pluck the Pluck Chicken" is the name of this establishment. And uh, the other thing you notice is this sort of older man. He's got a cane. He's headed in your direction. He comes off the porch, sort of. He's got those sort of liver spots on his hands. He's balding. Um, he looks like he's had a hard life of farming. He's probably well past farming age, probably one of the village elders. And he walks up and says, Oh, hello there. Hello there, friends. Uh... What you all doing? What you all doing around these parts here? Gray's home. What brings you to Gray's home? Hey, cat, got your tongue? 
Seems like he keeps on saying. What? Well, we're here. To... Well, I'm here to look at your farms, and it looks like a lot of fields are pretty shit. Makes me kind of angry. Well, young man, you certainly have quite a outgoing personality for one so young. Uh, interesting. So, is that, is that a short joke? Is that a short joke? Now that was an age joke, son. I don't, I don't like people who make short jokes to halflings. <laughs> Urgh, it makes me angry. Oh, well, calm yourself, son. I didn't mean to make fun of you. I was just a little good-natured ribbon. You came in here talking talking smack about our farms. But, uh, yeah, the halfling, eh? Haven't seen one of your kind around here for a couple of years. Uh, my apologies. My apologies for sure. And, uh, look, you got another... Is she halfling, too? She seems a bit taller than you. I <laughs> uh, look back. I'd like to make an intelligence check <laughs> to see if she's a halfling. <laughs> okay. Just see, just see if I know. Sure. <laughs> yeah, she's not a halfling. Nah, she's she ain't one of us. She's one of them shitter gnomes. A shitter gnome. I have I heard a heard of rock gnomes and hill gnomes and forest gnomes. I never heard of a shitter gnome. I am a forest gnome. gnome. Thank you. Oh. Really? Shitter gnome. Mm. Forest. Well, pleased to meet you, ma'am. My name is, uh, and the others here, your acquaintance, uh, uh, in your, in your company. My name is Malcolm. Malcolm Gray. A lot of most folks call around here call me Pappy. Um, what can I do? What can, welcome to Grace Home. What can we do for you here? Well, Pappy, my name is Cy. Yeah. Well, welcome, Cy. Ooh, I thought your name was Sai A. I prefer the pronunciation Sai. Well, you, I think ooh, you should tell him what we need to do. <laughs> so we're here looking for somebody, right? Anyone can answer that? Any other players? Well, I'm just here to look at corn, really. Uh, we were told to find information about Carol. Right, who hired who hired Marshawn, the masked okay. the masked person that hired Marshawn. There we go. And you have a map that you're following <laughs> heading east. So uh we we're just wondering, have you had any other visitors lately? Had some other visitors. Uh, yeah, we had a fella, a uh, couple fellas come through here. Head over east. Uh, not a lot of traffic going east. Interesting. Is that, is that where you're headed? It's it's very possible, actually. Well, he headed east, and then he headed. He came back from the east, and headed west again. That was probably oh, a week or two ago. Um, strange looking fella. Had really long, uh, sort of like a matted hair these long locks matted locks and uh had a lot of tattoos uh, hmm yes I, I think i know who you're speaking of um have you possibly seen a man with a mask a man with a mask well not um, a festival season's usual we'll wear masks around here but now i haven't seen any man with a mask i can ask around that's for sure That'd be grand. I mean, I don't get around as much as I used to. Mostly just stay here around the plucked chicken. You know, making sure things are okay. And that is quite a strange name, plucked chicken. The plucked chicken? Oh, Sounds well. tasty. We it do have a tasty, tasty. We do serve a tasty chicken, sir. We certainly yeah. do. Uh, we've got uh, I, uh, I a imagine nice rosemary there's... herb. It's good. My, my daughter does it. It's delicious. And we serve it up with our own... Uh, corn squeezins. Corn squeezins. What? What do you say are, are corn squeezins? Corn squeezins. Oh, son, you ain't lived till you've tried corn squeezins. And so we take we take a mash of the good corn, 
and uh, mash that up all good and good and right, and then distill it down to you potent, potent you, magic, you, liquid magic. You you clean the corn first, right? Well, part of the process, yeah, because it cleans itself. I mean, we clean it and then we wash it and then we wash it. It doesn't. It doesn't look anything like this, does it? And he takes out. She takes out some of the corn that uh, Basher <laughs> gave him. Oh no, honey, uh, miss, ma'am, where did you find that? That is just some. Uh, look at those evil bites it was a, in there. It was a gift. That was a gift. I threw it. I'll say whoever gave you that gift doesn't think too much of you. I, yeah, look, let me get you some. Whoa, we got some nice wait, corn hold here. Up, hold up right there. What? This is the best corn from the Cornwit family. You best take that back. Ooh, I can't believe you say that. Well, I don't mean to disparage your crops, son, but here, take a look at this. And he, he turns around, pulls off this big, huge ear from a, a basket that is on the sort of on the, near the entrance of the door there, sort of like a porch area, and just pull, shucks it back, and you just see this beautiful, bright, golden kernels. I think you it must be... smell it. Yeah, just you like can smell that fresh, smell. sweet... You can just smell the sugar in that thing, and it's just like, it, it's got to be almost 10 inches long, this ear of corn, 10, 12 inches long, and it just plump, fat, juicy kernels of golden deliciousness. That's, that's what your car should look like, son. Oh that's taller than Bastion. That does look quite, look quite tasty indeed. Oh, it's good. You can buy it that without even cooking it. It tastes like sugar. <laughs> oh, Bastion. I would not recommend eating this corn over that corn. Why would you give us something like this when you could have given us something like that? Why you doesn't know, yours look like uh, that? Uh, all right. I, I might have stole the corn from my pappy before he he wouldn't let me take some so I, I thought I could get some and it would be the same as you know the corn with family name but I guess you can't just take it off the take it off the thing right right away so here I'm going to re do what we call regifting you can have this look <laughs> I'm going to give you this regifting yes I'm going you call it regifting oh. and I'm going to gift this air corn to you now Please enjoy. Could I have that air corn sort? Oh, sure thing. Hey, help yourself. We got plenty coming in. We have a oh, real early thank crop. Oh, so very for some much. Just, oh, it smells so good and sweet. Well, Ooh. you know the sugar's the and key. And she just to licks it. Yeah. Uh, well, it, to answer two of your questions that you asked earlier. The, oh, she does. <laughs> I, I throw the corn that was given back to me at Sia. I'm like, I dare you real gift. That's an asshole move, and I just chuck it in his face or something. Ouch! That's not right. I was trying to give you a gift. I gave you the gift first. Why? Ooh, you don't just give up someone's what? thing back. What, you, you what know? does that tell you me? Know? What? What does that tell me about what you think of me when you could have given me something like this and you give me something like that? Okay, first of all, I couldn't give you something like this because I, I couldn't get access to it, okay? I thought you said your family had a farm. Yeah, it's, just, it's my family's farm. It's not my farm. Okay. Well, maybe there's some miscommunication here. Yeah, here, you take this corn back and we, we'll, we'll call it even, okay? Okay, I'll. Well, once you figure out your corn situation, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, yeah, let me answer those two questions you have first, uh, uh, Mr. Bastion, sir, uh, young Bastion there. Uh, well, the reason, you know, since you seem to, well, maybe you don't have the best product, but you do seem to know something about growing crops. Uh, the reason that a couple of these fields look like in the condition they are, we've had a terrible problem with these, with these corn goblins. Come in, sneaking around at night, ripping up our fields, uh, stealing our stuff, and uh, it makes it difficult to get a good harvest. Second problem there 
is uh, once the corn goblins kind of dig around in there, then the rats move in. So we've had, you know, these aren't normal rats, you know. No, we could get rid of the normal rats, you know. Cletus and Homer and some of the other boys, White, they could, they're they're like sharpshooters. They could take care of a rat from 20 yards away with a stone or arrow. But uh, now these are big. I mean, we sent people into those fields and they get bit something fierce, come back out. Uh, it's it's rough. We, we don't know what to do. Uh, second question that you had was uh, pluck chicken. Well, why are we call it the pluck chicken? Obviously, because, uh, you know, we do have the, uh, the delicious chicken dinner served by my daughter, Marta, here. However, uh, we have a weekly chicken race where, uh, you know, there's something to do in the, in the past time. We get out back. Have a chicken race, see who's the winner of the chicken race. Maybe we play a little cornhole, we drink some corn with some of those corn squeezins. You know, it's, it's a it's a it's a grand old time. If you if if you're gonna be around, you, you might want to try it out. Sounds delightful. Ooh, anything with corn, I love it. But oh, when you say corn goblin, I hate them motherfuckers. They also come over to my town too. Yeah. Ooh, I always go chasing off with my. Great old Warhammer, bounce them, smack them a little bit on the head. Oh, well, they've been encroaching more and more at night. I mean, these corn goblins have been sneaking in from the east there. Uh, and uh, You point it's... me to the closest corn goblin. Woo-wee! I'll, I'll smack them. I'll kill them. I don't, do, I don't care. I'll eat them. Ooh, you eat, you eat corn goblins? Sir? I don't, but I'll start now. Oh, didn't know you could <laughs> eat them things. Huh. Well, like I said, I mean, they used to sneak in at night. You know, they got that... Uh, they're able to see something real good at night, so it's hard to catch them. Um, maybe uh, we tried to track them. You know, we sent a couple, couple hunters out to the east and see if we could catch one. And uh, but uh, no, found a couple tracks, but we couldn't find their nest, so uh, weren't able to do nothing. They're getting to be more of a nuisance. And like I said, then once they tear up a field, the rats move right in. Uh, these powerful rats are, oof. Poor Cletus. Oh, Darren yes. here got his foot bit off. Perhaps uh, we might. I mean, she turns around, and looks at the rest of the group. Perhaps we might uh, lend these people a hand, possibly what? to uh, get rid of these rats. Well, I'll I tell you that's what. Only right. I'll, I'll tell you what. You help. You help us rid that field of those rats. I'll, you can have as many nights free lodging here at the Pluck Chicken as you want, and I'll make sure Marta whips up a special dinner for you. And I'll let you try the corn that squeezes from last grand. winter. For sure. That is nice. That sounds grand. I tell you, also, if you could still uh, perhaps ask around about the masked one that we're looking for. I can do that for sure. Yeah. If you can, Tell you what. You see that, uh, see that field to to over yonder there? Yes. Hey, yeah. you just head over there and talk to Cletus. And uh, he, he should be working over there by his his uh, his shack. And uh, I'll put his name on there for as you can see. Yeah, I can see him over there. He's over there working on his... Working over there by his shack. You tell Cletus old Pappy sent you over to help you help him with his his, his rat problem. The rat problem, he'll, sure. He'll let you know what needs to be done. And and in the meantime, old Pappy will go around and talk to all his children and uh and neighbors and find out we hear never heard anything about some mask feller. Okay, and then uh, when we are finished we'll all meet back here. Sounds like a plan. Well, sure, All right, sure then. is uh, serendipitous meeting you folk here. That's quite the big word, but yes, I agree. Well, I lived a long time, <laughs> picked up a couple words in my day. Thank you, Poppy. Well, thank you, Mr. What was your name again? Toolcas. Toolcas. Well, thank you, Toolcas. Wee. All right. Well, if we get rid of this, the, I still got lots to learn about the corn and corn business and corn cleaning. So, I'll be looking for you, Pappy. Well, tell you what, you take, you help out, clip, you help out my uh, my cousin Cletus, sir. Oh, is it oh. my cousin or my second cousin? Shoot. Let's see. Daughter of my son of my daughter's sister's 
husband's cousin. I, I, I lose track, but he, we just call him Cousin Cletus. Everybody's pretty much a cousin right here. I'm going to talk to <laughs> Woo -wee, talk to Cousin Cletus. All right, and uh, you come on back, and we'll have that chicken dinner, and uh, that's what he's waiting for. Maybe we'll play a couple rounds of cornhole out back. What do you say? You ever All play right. that? You ever play that on a farm uh, you come from? Cornhole? I come, I come from Cornwit. Yeah, but you ever play cornhole? No, I never play cornhole. Oh, well, it's a great game. Get drunk and play cornhole. You telling me you don't get drunk and play cornhole on your farm? No, sir. Never huh. ooh, never done that before. Well, you're in for a treat of your life, son. Let me tell you what. <laughs> I, I guess Tulkus. Bastion stays here. And talk Tulkus to knows what's up. And the rest can go talk to Cletus. Okay. All right. Uh, so you guys see Cletus. He's over here working on his... Kind of puttering around, going back and forth from his shack to his looks like a shed over there. He looks up, sees, uh, "Yeah, what can I do for all you folk? You ain't from right here." Hello. Uh, no, we're not uh, quite from this area. Uh, are you cousin Cletus by chance? Uh, yes, my yeah, I'm Cletus. I don't think I'm any cousin of yours okay. though. Grand... Looks at Bambi and see. No, uh, no. I'm pretty sure you ain't Gray's. Grandpappy sent us over here. Pappy Gray? Yes. Pappy Gray sent you? Oh, well, well okay. Well, play, please meet you, sir. Uh, or ma'am. Whatever it is. Uh, sorry about that. Not really in the... Never met fur person before. Oh, it's it's quite all right. We're soft. <laughs> I see. Any, anyway, so um, we hear that you have a rat problem. Me being a big cat kind of comes in handy. Oh, you're a cat, are you? Oh. Uh, the cat like. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, them claws probably come pretty pretty in handy, right? I mean Well sure, yeah. Yeah. Well I don't know if I don't know if Pappy told you, but uh you know, we got uh we got this problem with these corn goblins. These corn bolts keep coming showing up. Middle of the night, tearing up our fields. That's what I hear. Yeah. I heard about that. Yes. Yeah, tore my feel up. Next thing you know, got yeah. these big old rats um, moving in. That might be something that we'll be willing to check in later on too, is perhaps check into these uh, corn goblins. We hear they they live towards the east, correct? Yeah, corn goblins. We think they're coming from the east. I mean, that's the going west. There's more civilization there, so probably probably not coming there. What a huntsman. So he, he thought he found some tracks uh, right, a couple that's miles, what we heard, eight tracks. miles up. So they're coming from at least eight miles away. But we could never find okay, that. Okay, yeah. So it's it's possible we might be heading in that direction. If we are, that might be something we'll check into, too. Um, it's yet to be seen. I have to talk to my colleagues. But one thing at a time, you say rats, right? Right, I surely would be appreciative if you could take care of this rat situation. I mean, look at my foot. I can barely walk around. He points down to his foot. It's got a bunch of bandages on it. You can see some of this blood bloody stain uh, leaking seeping through the bandages it looks like a pretty nasty wound even through the even though bandages are covering it and he does now you realize uh, sort of listing to one side holding sort of the side of the building as he's talking ah uh, uh, yes that looks that foot. terrible yeah, that must I'm, be quite oh, painful yeah it, yeah we're for marta I think this sucker be infected. I, I might lose a whole foot. You know, I'm afraid to go back in there. I mean, not afraid of rodents normally, but these are rodents of unusual size. Uh, well, it just so happens that I'm a cat of unusual size. Sure are. Okay, so uh, well, just be careful. They're, there... they're they're in there. They're, they made a maze through that thing. There's probably tunnels. Rolling up and down. Just, just be careful, all. Okay, I will do that. All right. Well, is this is this failed over her? Okay then. Uh, colleagues, Bambi, Tokus, so, so, you ready yeah. to dive in there? What's that? I don't speak. Uh, is that cat speech? Kali, Tokus, Palace. What's that mean? 
Bambi and Tolkis, the, the a other two dinner? individuals. Is that a, some sort of dish that you make? No, like this, this, stew? this, this one here. Her name oh, is Bambi. Oh, her name's Bambi. Well, nice to meet you, little Miss Bambi. Welcome, Grace yeah. Home. And the big guy back here. What's he doing back? Tolkis. Hey, what you doing back there, big fella? Hello. Uh, Looking for your rats. Oh yeah, yeah. This field over here, bud. Partner. Oh, thank you. Partner. Yeah, friend. All right. Uh, about that. Uh, what about that little feller over there? He, he he going with you too, or you gonna hang out there with Pappy? He seems to be deep in conversation. Hmm. <laughs> Lord knows he needs to learn a thing or two. <laughs> okay, is uh, is Bastion gonna join the rest of the rat hunters, or as they head into um, the cornfield? Yeah, see them. yeah. I mean, is he gonna? Is it gonna like yell over for him? Well, you no. would you would see no. him <laughs> head into the field. Okay, so I'm over here. No, you like, know what? I'm gonna use a minor illusion and have a rat run from. Here, uh, here. Hmm. All right. You can make a series of minor illusions where the lat the rat sort of looks like stop motion animation, since there's sure, static. That it's, works. A static it's a static. <laughs> it's, a, ding, ding, ding. it's like a flip book. The rat just sort of like appears <laughs> here, here, and here. Pappy's like, oh hi. Look, there's one of them rats over there. Hey, it looks like your friends are going. Looks like your friends are going into that uh, that cor uh, Cle uh, cousin Cletus's cornfield. Might want to run over there and catch him. And I'm just like, oh, and the oh what oh shit! And I'm just like taking my warhammer and smashing down on the ground each time. I'm just like trying to get the rat. This, this whack shitty a, little rat. <laughs> whack a rat. Fucking what the fuck is up with this stupid rat? Nice. <laughs> All right. Neat trick. And just keep running into the field. All right, so you run into the field. Cameron. There are a lot of tall rows of corn, but the, the the corn is sort of sickly and broken. The plants, some of it, it does obscure your vision. You can see down the rows pretty easily, but across the rows, there's so much vegetation there, it's really hard to get a clearer view. So you've got a really broken field of view. You think you can see mm -hmm. things moving in the field there and you can see these mounds with these sort of almost like giant gopher holes um, every so often in the cornfield which obviously must be the rats that they're talking about tra traveling around you can see a lot of destruction too there's uh, any of the corn that is that or was edible has been torn down and eaten you see seeds and droppings all over the place everybody go ahead and roll for initiative Bastion, this looks like your corn. Hey, fuck you, Talcus! <laughs> what? 11.03. You don't quit talking like that, I'll make you look like my corn. I'll make you look at this corn! Is that supposed to be yeah, that's 14? A, a, no, it's a tiebreaker. She's got a three dex. So... No, oh, I mean the point oh three. Yeah, that's the tiebreaker. The point oh three. That's a tiebreaker. She has a three decks, so it's eleven oh three. So if someone else rolled uh, okay. eleven with a less than a three decks, so like C has got, got three it. decks, and also, yeah, looks like okay. a lot of you have three decks except for Talcus. Okay. I got uh, three decks. Go ahead. Plus three decks. <laughs> so you and I, you want to like just? Most of you do. Uh, you can go first. It's fine. Okay, sure. I'm gonna where is my? There we go. Initiative. Yeah, the barbarian. Go first. I'm right. going to enter with the uh, shiny dagger and rapier in hand. Okay, so you can go through these areas that are sort of blocked off by the dynamic lighting. You could certainly press through the cornfield and move through them, but it will affect your vision as you go through. So as I said, you can see down the rows pretty well. It's just going through the rows is quite broken. <laughs> Would it count like for extra movement to go through them, or is it just, uh, no. just regular? No. Yeah. It's just like if we end our turn in there, we're like in darkness. Maybe. Yeah, you might be in darkness if you end your turn in there. Yeah. Okay. And you can hear squeaking and scurrying. All right. Uh, looks.
looks like the rats are gonna go first. This guy is gonna go here. Okay. Go ahead. All right, our glorious leader. See ya. You're up. Okay. And I think I will use my uh, feline agility to dash into okay. here. Okay, yeah, and you could see several of the rat holes. Yeah. All Definitely see like the holes. Okay. Alright, so you oh, go crashing into the into the sickly corn and it looks like you're sort of obscured from view. Well, some of you comrades can still see you. And all of them can. Bastion. Go ahead. Uh so um, we control all the characters we're able to see where he is. Do you want to remove that or? Remember? Sorry. Uh, oh yeah. Because yeah. I will yeah, fix you it. Yeah. Control all the characters. Yeah. Good and point. I'm going to hold my action too in case something comes I'll out. Fix that. Try to attack. Uh, so that is. Okay. There you go. Dash on after him. Okay. Ooh, wait. you ain't you ain't gonna get further than me. I'm gonna. I'll kill more rats than you, you little ungrateful cat bitch. <laughs> Give me your corn and you just chuck it back at me. Seriously? Seriously. You did only gave the corn back because you wouldn't need it. Alright. Right. It was a gift. Talkus. <laughs> Alright. Um... And I'll dash. There. Okay. And Bambi. Um, I get a 20 move, right? 25. Uh, 25. 25. I thought it was 20 for half. 25. Not the point at the moment. Um, boop. And then that was 10. I think. And then another. There we go. Um, and I'm going to ready my action on a firebolt at the first thing I see. Okay. That is a rat. Alright, sounds good. <laughs> So I think you can see that one there. Yeah. Because um, the other one was like, yeah, 135. There's no way of seeing that one. Okay, go for it. Fireball, that is a hit. You blast that rat as it comes charging out of the hole for five points of fire damage. Bam! And... The rat sort of tumbles over, and then but rights itself. It's like a sort of full backward somersault and rights itself on all fours, and then snarls at you, hisses, and then moves its last five feet toward you. Okay, uh, let's see. These guys are gonna go. See ya. You're up. Okay. And then I 
think I'll dash. Bonus action to dash. So is there a rat right there next yeah, to you? Yeah, you actually ran past one here as well. There's a rat back Did there. I? So you can either stop and fight that one, or, well, I guess you dashed past it, so no. Yeah. It's, it's going to take an attack of opportunity on you. All right. And here we go. It's going to take a little bite ski. Oh. Huh. It would be great it showed the... Attack plus four. Oh, doesn't have the attack on here. It's great. Way to go. Yeah, a lot of macros seem to not be like the like sheet. The, the, the character the sheet, sheet itself doesn't have. Let me see if it's got. Uh, yeah, for some reason I've been noticing that too. Some of the, um, where like the attack will have, um, the DC for a certain like ability that comes with the attack or something, and when they put that in there in the wrong spot, right. it messes the whole entire macro up. You got to go in there and get rid of it. All right, here we go. So it's gonna take a little bite at you as you run by uh, to target you. Yeah. Okay. And that is a that's a hit. It, it nips you as you run by for four damage. Sure. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Um, I'm going to attack this rat next to me. All right. You still have so you dashed. Then you dash. You said. I used a uh, bonus action to dash. Gotcha. All right. So you still have your action left. Go for it. Yeah. Okay, I will use my rapier. Wow, that's a hit. That is a hit. And that's just five. Five damage on the rat. You stick it, it squeals. <laughs> but it's not dead. Take that, beast. Okay. I'm about to come under fire. <laughs> Bastion. You gonna yell? You gonna let anybody know you're about right. to come under fire? I'm surrounded. <laughs> I guess I get over here. I go. Ha! Serves that stupid cat right. Oh shit! It's a rat. Yeah, you see, a, you come face to face to face with a rat almost as big as you are. I'm gonna go. It's got blood. Hate when things. Blood, you blood guys dripping off its big teeth. You guys messing with corn? I love corn! I go and fly into a barbarian rage. Yeah, they are messing up this field. I mean, it was bad enough what the corn bolts did to it, but the rats are just making it worse. All right. Ho oh, ho, tally ho! This is when I rage, and this is how I warhammer. <laughs> Holy crap. Take that, sir rats! This okay. is for messing with corn! All right, does that include your rage damage? Uh, I think that was added on, right? Yeah, plus two. Plus two bonus. Yeah. The... That one was a killer. All right, yeah. Almost. You slam the rat, um, and you break its back. Its back legs aren't working too well, but the front legs still are clawing, trying to get at you, and it's snapping. It's gnashing its huge incisors. But it's... Uh... Oh, no. Swiper, no swiping. And I end my turn. All right. Tulkus, you're up. I'm gonna step forward and I'll hear that someone surrounded. Surrounded? Sounds fun! Can I join? And swing. And bonus action. That is a hit with the quarterstaff. First one's a hit. Second one is a miss. But the first one, you swack, walk it for five points of damage. You hear this crunch as you cave in half of the rats, half of the side of its head in. Um, sort of almost knocks its jaws out of alignment. It's like, <laughs> it's still up though. Right, I'll use the rest of my movement to position myself here. Okay. And that's it. All right. Bambi. Um. Well, the rats still attacking me. Well, still near me. So we're going to frostbite it. Hey, rat. Damn. 
That is, uh, that's on this rat here that's coming at you. Coming at ya. Yeah. It's to make a con save. And not his best stat. Not his worst stat. Bam! Oh. Okay. Bad. Um. And then I'm going to take three steps this way and start writing furiously in my notebook. And that's my turn. <laughs> oh, looks like uh, Frostbite did not have intended effect. M more dexterous than I thought. Oh. All right, this guy's <laughs> going to run up 30 feet and take a bite at Bastion with advantage. So it has power <coughs> tactics. And... Ah, why does it do that? 14? Well, well, you have to do advantage. Oh, let me set it. So it rolls twice. Bink. Alright, here's the second roll. The first one is the second roll. That one. 11, no. And then nope. the the one that you smacked and crushed its legs is going to try to bite you. Fourteen. It's a miss. It's a miss. Okay. And this one's going to go bink, bink. Come up here. Try to bite you. Oh, advantage. looks like they're all coming after me now. Ooh, hit. Four. That is a hit. So, but you're raging, so you only take three damage. All, all right. right. Let's see. This rat. Ooh, good bite, sir. This rat's going to close on Tulkus and take a bite with advantage. That is a 17. That's a hit. Six damage. And the wounded rat's going to move over here and attack you as well with advantage. 14. His miss. Oh, 17. Sorry. Oh, seven. Advantage. So you take a total of 10 piercing damage from those two rat lights. Yep. And we're going to go, boom, boom, boom. Rat's going to position itself over here, and Sia's going to get two rat attacks. One, and two. So that is 23 and a 17. See ya. Both Side. hit. Okay, so you take a total of 10 damage. And then this rat's gonna go. And this rat's gonna go. Okay. Sire. Okay, so, uh... Yeah, those vicious bites, you can definitely see. You know, first you're like, Cletus, what a wimp. You can't even handle a couple rats, but... Man, those things are pack a ball up. Those huge teeth are just taking chunks of flesh out of you. Okay, so does it take an action to use the south? Yeah, I'll say he uses bonus action, I guess. Sure. Okay. Slaps himself. Um, so. I'll take it. Take a free action to get it out, and then a bonus action to use it. Okay. Uh, um. Probably, yeah. Probably better off disengaging to apply it, but yeah, that's what I was thinking. So yeah, I think I'll disengage, and then move this way. Shit, probably use my uh, cat way that way I can use my movement again and see one super cat speed yeah huh. as he like Go runs here. by I'm just like that's a sight to see the cat <laughs> running away from the rats right so Bastion becomes then more now. refined when he goes into a rage Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm digging it. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and use the salve as okay. the bonus action, free action, take it out, all that good shit. All right. Oh, goody. Isn't that awesome? So 1d4 plus 1. 
Yeah, I rolled two. Two points. Yeah. It's almost doubles what you have. You're a real glass half full type of guy, aren't you? Hey. <laughs> Five's better than three. <laughs> this is true. Anything else? Yeah, that's all my turn. I uh, used my bastion. Yep. So the two rats. Hit the to same your... rat that yeah. I hit before. All right, the one that's with his legs crushed. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah, you just smash its head into the ground. A loud squeak. I turn over to see it. I'm like, see ya. That's how it's done. Just call me the rat exterminator. You just keep doing that, then you you. Yes, you you keep killing the rats. All right, that's my turn. That's my turn. Tolkus. And we can have a big rat barbecue. It'll be good. Tolkus, you're up. Uh, if I were to turn invisible, would they get opportunity attacks on me? They would, but at disadvantage if you move away. Yeah. In that case, then I will use well, a key point. It would to be do disadvantage, so it'd be regular because they have advantage already. So we just they would just have a regular attacks. Right, so I'll use a key point for step of the wind to disengage. Okay. And I'll move to here. Alrighty. And I'll say, I'm severely wounded, we should regroup. And I'll hold my action until one gets close to me. Okay. Bambi. Um, so I'm going to go through here and look. Oh, that rat moved. That changes things slightly. Not really. Um. And then I'm just going to move 15 feet forward, I suppose, since I just used 10 feet already. And that puts me in range, I think. Right? 60 for Firebolt, right? I think it's 120, 120 for Firebolt. Ah, oh, well, I was already in range. So, cool. Firebolt. That's a hit. Misses. Yeah, that's a hit. And you blast that. Rise is coming, attacking Bastion. You, like, snipe it from all the way down the row of the cornfield. And things just... Bee! Just huddles up, just curls up into a, this smoking ball right at Bastion's hey. feet. Ha ha! That's two, see ya! Anything else, Bambi? Uh, nope, that was all my movement. Okay, rats. This guy's gonna go. 25, 30, and he's going to attempt to bite Bambi. Uh huh. 17? Oh, no. Oh, rip. I got this. Okay. So you take five piercing damage. Oh, God. I hit 90, not 90. <laughs> Sweet. You gained 90 damage. I saw the health bar just go all the way to the right, and I was Gain like, what just power happened? Power up. It's a Mario rat. You just powered up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got bit by the Spider-Man rat. <laughs> Turned you into Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's gonna go to 30. And this one's gonna go. 30. <laughs> and... Okay, and let's see, this guy's gonna come out of here. Boom. And this one's gonna come up to here. So you've got three rats on you. This guy is gonna go. I like these odds. 35. Alright. So that was a miss on Bambi. You've got three rats on Bastion and three more trying to corner Sia and Tulkus. It was the hit on me. Right. Sorry, a hit on Bambi. Correct. So let's see what we have on Bastion. That's one, two. That is a hit. Three. That's a miss, and that's a hit. So I take four points of damage. Four points of damage. You raging? So eight divided by two is four. Correct. Right. All right. 
rats are starting to swarm around you. Sai, you're up. Okay, so I quickly hand over the salve to Tolkis and I say, Here, use this. And then I'm going to come around here. Okay. And uh, Rat's going to use its held action as you get within range and try to bite you. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, you're down. <laughs> All right. All right, so as you run up to get it, it's like, yeah, it lunges out at you and you go down. Okay. Bastion. All right. Let's take a look at this one over here. Yeah, it's looking pretty weak. Looks like it's been hurt, damaged. Rat, meet my warhammer. Bah! Oh, yeah, you just crack it. Oops, that's that was the wrong. Oh, uh, it's still a hit. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, different damage. Roll the damage. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's dead. It's, it doesn't matter. It has two hit points left. It's dead. <laughs> okay, all right. The yeah. rage alone. <laughs> rage alone is going to kill it. <laughs> the rage would have killed it. So you just smash it into the ground. Another pulping another rat. Just piling up these bodies of rats around you. That's like, three, see ya. Like, That's how we do it back on the farm. Where I'm from. For corn whip. <laughs> That's right. See, see ya. Yeah. You hear nothing from Sia. You just heard a loud, Aah! and then that was it. Mm. Tulkus. All right. You also heard a loud. I heard the scream. Scream, death rattle. All right. I'm going to give this a shot. Nice. That's this. I'm going to do, uh, spend a key point to do Flurry of Blows. Okay. Mm. Choice. Miss. To hit. That'll kill the rat. Nice. You kick it right in the face and cr you hear its neck just snap. It falls to the ground. I am here, Sai. There's no answer. Uh, uh, yeah, I can't do anything else, and uh, I'll stay here. Okay. All right. Bambi. Um, I swing my quarter staff haphazardly in terror at the rat. It's a hit. Smack it for four points of damage, cracking it in the ribs, squeaks in pain. But it's and then I point. run furiously away. Oh, it, it'll get an attack of opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it will. Okay. I choose one way. That is 11 is a miss. That's a miss. Yay. All right. Giant rats. Okay, so we've got this one's going to break through here. And damn rat. This one will come up here. And this one will come to Bambi here. So we're going to do one attack on Bambi. Looks like a hit. Unless you use a reaction or something. You have shield. Um Nope. Hit. Okay. Oh, no. Three whole damage. You have shield. Oh, you didn't say oh, you didn't memorize it. Okay. Alright, so you take three damage as it as it bites you, the rat up there by Tulkus will take a bite uh, at Tulkus. Oops, what happened? No. Bite at Tulkus. That's a miss. And then three no, bites. It's right. a hit with advantage, right? What's that? No, it doesn't have advantage. He killed the other one. Oh, so it doesn't have advantage? No, it only has advantage if it's alive. The dead a rat oh, okay, carcass okay. doesn't grant it advantage. Oh, I, I thought that's what the green thingy was. No, he had held his action, sorry. Um, oh, that's what that is. Okay, no. Yeah. I didn't know what it was. Yeah, I'll take that off in a second. And then you have three bites on... 
pass that's stone. with advantage. One, two. This? Oh no, that's a hit. Three. Yes. That is a hit. Four. Nine. Five. For three, so you have one hit total, two hits for nine, yeah, so that is hits. five damage. Yep, five yeah. damage total. Got it. All right, Sai, nice with death. That is a success. Nice. nice. One success. Bastion. All right. Um, all these rats are fresh, right? Yeah, they're unwounded. Do I like look at any of them? Like they look. Okay, all right. Uh, I'm gonna look at the one blocking my escape route back here. Same. Attacking from the back. Cowardly rats. Oh, nice. Um, you almost punt it, it in its face. Yeah, you almost kill it with one shot. Okay. Right. Anything else? One. Uh. <laughs> Can I use my shield as a weapon? <laughs> uh, so for a bonus action, you mean? You want to attack with your shield? Yeah, as a bonus action. Yeah, if you're only using your Warhammer with that. one hand, sure. Yeah. So you don't okay. get, yeah, you don't get proficiency. Nope. Yep. I don't get to add the damage, but I can add proficiency. I have proficiency with shield. Okay. As a barbarian. All right. Yeah, I mean to the damage. Yeah. Or is that your strength plus three, bonus? Plus two. Efficiency of two. Hit. Thirteen hit. Thirteen to hit, and you smack it. You smack it with the shield like a mighty backhand, and knocks its neck back, and you hear a snap. It dies. Is that it? All right. All right. Now I'm done. Tolkis. All right. <clears throat> See ya, I'll be with you in a moment. And then I use my bonus action to hidden step. Okay. And reposition myself behind the rat. Okay. Would I get advantage for that? No, you wouldn't get well you have advantage because you're you're invisible, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you wouldn't even have to oh. move, you could still attack it with your bonus action. Okay, so if I Oh that is a bonus action. action, sorry. So yeah, you wouldn't even have to move. You still have advantage because you're hidden. You're, uh, okay. invisible. That's a hit, and you one-shot it. it. The rat's looking around, sniffing in the air. It raises up on its hind legs, sniffing at you, and you just smack that thing with your quarterstaff right between the eyes, and its eyes roll up in the back of its head, and it just goes down dead. Nice. And, uh... Yeah, that's my action, so that's it. All right. I'm just saying. Bam, bam. Bambers. Bambi, I didn't know you could fly. Bambi? Uh, sorry. I totally spaced out there, I guess. <laughs> um. <laughs> what I want to do, though. Uh, we're going to fireball this rat. Stop fighting me. That's a hit, and it just the fireball just that's... right in the face. Oh, it's sorry, it's a dis yes. disadvantage. Yeah, that's a miss. Oh God damn it! Range <laughs> Like you got the you got the fireball too. in the face and the thing ducks and it goes the fireball just goes flaming right off the top of its head. It's I mess. forgot that too. I should have just didn't go. You see if you oh, have well. a critical uh, Oh yeah, I have a crit fail here. Hold on. One second. Yay. Let me add my crit fail table. Cancel. I had it in here. Uh, everybody's favorite. Crit fail table. Bacon Porker to me. Thank God there's no one from my team that way. Okay, I'll just 
make it a macro. Let's see. Have you heard that critical fail roll jingle that they have in the playlist thing? No, it's that. It's pretty cool. All right, so when you click on your token, you should see a crit fail macro up here. Ah, yeah. Go ahead and roll on that. Get that. And, uh. Nope. Well, I wasn't using a weapon. Nope, nothing happens. You're good. You're good to go. Uh. All right. Giant rat. Okay, giant rat is now going to lunge for you. Now you try to burn its face off. It's going to try to bite your face off. 14? Ah. Uh, that hurts. All right, so you hit for three piercing damage. And we've got two rats left on Bastion. Attacking with advantage. One, two. Ooh, those are both hits. That's okay. four, da four. four damage on Bastion. Okay. Two vicious hits on Bastion. And see ya. That nice with five. death. Wouldn't it be five damage, though? Because 1.5 rounds up to two and five rounds up to three. I think we're combining the damage, right? It's eight damage. Divided by two is four. Oh, okay. So you just divided after combining it. Just easy. It. Yeah. One fail. And I round up anyway. So it'd be four divided by would be two. two. I don't do half damage. So it'd be four is two. Yeah. Five is six. So it's actually it'd be five damage. Okay. No, it's four damage. <laughs> That's a miss. That is a fail. It's one success, one fail. As you dice with death, I. Bastion, Bastion wonders is where his other teammates are. Bastion, size right. looking like she's um, struggling with that. Oh, sorry, that's I'm gonna kill this one. You wouldn't see that. Yeah, I didn't see I wouldn't see it. Uh let's go. More hammer region. The one in the bottom right there. That's a hit, and you just one shot it, just crushing it again with the Warhammer. <laughs> ah! And then I'll go and ahead and use my bonus pulse. to rat jelly. smack the other one. I smack the other one with a shield. Okay, more of Grandma Bastion's rat jelly. Probably a miss. Okay. That is a hit. Does it whack, whack oh, it? it does. Okay, so minus damage. three. So, so for just three damage. Three, three damage. Because okay. I don't add this. Don't add the strength modifier. Okay. All right, Tulkus. Sally ho. I'm going to bend down and apply the solve to Sia. Sigh. Sigh. Who rolls for that? You should. 1d4 plus 1. Hey. Nice. All right. You bring yeah. Sia back from unconsciousness with four hit points. Size prime. All right, Bambi. Uh, huh. Card is that it? Oh, my God. That is a miss. The rat is proving. Uh, Worthy adversary for your martial skills. Yes, it is, and I know I'm taking the attack of opportunity here. Okay. <laughs> yep. Once again, try to back up, backpedal from the rat. The rat's gonna try to fight at you. That's a hit. And yeah, I fall over. Okay. Right. That's <laughs> vicious. <laughs> Okay. This rat, they got Bambi! This rat's gonna run up. Ooh, can't quite get to you. But it can run up next to you. Okay. Right. Sai, you're up. 
Okay, I'm gonna use five feet of my movement to stand up. Okay. And um five, ten, fifteen. And then I'm gonna use my uh cat speed thingy to where I can dash. Okay. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I'll dash to right there. Nice. Oh. Looks like someone decided to join us finally. And I'm gonna attack this one next to me. First with the rapier. Then the shiny dagger. There's a bonus action. You try to use your bonus action to no, that was my cat it's thing. Cat dash. Oh, your cat speed is just a free thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, so, that's... As long as I don't use any movement for this one, one turn, and I sit in one spot, I can use it to double my movement my next turn. It's this one here, oh, the fresh one. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. You see, you see the cat come bursting through the corn behind you, leap past Bastion, land on her feet, and then immediately stab with the rapier, then slash with the dagger. And just, actually, the first attack will kill that rat. Did you want to slash the dagger at the other one? Yeah, you slash with your left hand at the other one and slice the that one's throat before it can go for Bastion, killing both of them in one round. Impressive. Oh, the second one doesn't have sneak attack. It didn't need it. Oh, it didn't need it? No, the oh, yeah, already it. Already on it. Yeah, this rat had yeah. already taken a shot from Bambi's staff. Sure, Okay, so you might have a few up on me, but there's two. I killed four. Well, I spent a lot of time on my back. Maybe you should not <laughs> <Raising. do> that. <laughs> Are we still in initiative in yeah. combat? Yeah. Anyways, we need to get Bambi back up. Anyone got anything to heal? Oh, we're on initiative. Uh, I'm gonna. I mean, it is your turn, so. If you do a yeah. medicine check, I try to stabilize her. If you don't have a medicine Sorry. kit, you just need to... I, I can't get that far, actually, so. Okay. All right. I have a medicine kit, but I, I got the get over there. Oh. You have a medicine kit? Alright. Here, let me let me help you out with that. And I'm gonna shove him with my athletic. <laughs> just gonna push him. Okay. Is he re are you gonna resist? No, I'm not gonna resist. Go ahead, push me right. wherever you want to push me. Uh, I don't know how many feet that moves. Five like. feet. Five feet? Alright, shove you five feet. To the left. Okay. Tolkus. Okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going. Tolkus. I'm going to Tulkus. walk around a little bit. Wait, you said we were out of initiative? Nope, did not say that. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah, I can hear you. He said that we were not out of initiative. All right, so. I'll uh, hold my action there. Bambi, dice with death. Okay, sorry about that. My death came in. Um, death saves? Yeah, dice with death. Ooh, that is one fail. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Sai, you're up. Use the uh, one action of uh, my med kit. Okay. Okay. That's a uh, medicine, medicine check. check with advantage, right? Oh, you have the kit? No, it's automatic. Yeah. yeah. Automatic. Yay. Stabilizes. Okay. Yeah. If you have a kit, just you take off one yeah. case, and he's automatically stabilized. Okay. So you uh, don't need the kit just to do a regular medicine check? No, you don't need the kit to do a medicine check, but if you have a kit, it will automatically stabilize the person. Oh, sweet. Okay. It, yep. it obviates the need to do a medicine check if you have a medicine kit. That was one of the things I grabbed up before we left. So, all right. So you guys are out of initiative now. Yay. 
and I have a point of exhaustion. Yeah, uh, we're, not, we're not doing that. <laughs> so you don't have any exhaustion. You're fine. Ah, no points of exhaustion there. And I have a one hit point. Tokus, how many did you kill? Uh, two, I believe. Oh, so you two? Oh. Ha! Looks like all oh, you guys are losers. You guys don't. You guys aren't able to do anything. Looks like I'm the better one. But how many people did you save? And I saved Sai. Ooh. Well, I'm pretty sure I saved all of you guys by killing them. So you know, and, and I saved, saved you guys. Louis, I think I indirectly saved y'all. You are as funny as you are short. Oh, did you just call me short? I mm. was gonna say ugly, but that's you know, it's tomato, tomato. Wow. I'm gonna just go up to him and I'm like, oh, I don't. I'm trying to shove him in like his legs, but I don't know if I'm like, I'm just like trying to push, and I'm like probably not getting very far because he's like a whole, you're like a big dude. Yep. Ah, Cletus. Oh, hi, hi, you, boy! You, you all sure look chewed up. What, what happened in there? You, you found you, those rats in, huh? Yeah, you weren't kidding when you said that they were bigger and a little bit stronger than normal rats, because they were. A, the, my when I say pain in the ass, I mean like the son of a bitch bit me in my ass. It's quite a pain. Yeah, you sure do look like you took a bunch of nips from them rats, but but you got them, did you? The, the, the field's safe? Yes, they're all taken care of. Oh, That's right. I don't you can get back to you. sowing your field and planting your corn. <laughs> I don't know how ever to thank you. I mean, you sure, you're sure are welcome. To, if you never need to, you can spend the night in my barn. Uh, boy. That's just, that sure is kindly of all you folks. You sure didn't have to do that. I appreciate it. Well, that's no problem at all. Um, we're to uh, meet up with your grandpappy at, uh, what is that, the plucking chicken, pluck chicken, I don't know. The Actually, chicken I think with the, he's my the feathers. second cousin twice removed, but yeah, we just all called Papa Gray. Oh, yeah, he kind of said the same thing about you. Yeah, it gets confusing if it's once removed or twice removed. Uh, but right, yeah, we definitely quadruply. Yeah, absolutely related somewhere yeah. or to other. So, well, it's been a pleasure helping you. Well, thank you, Miss Sai, and Bambi, and Bastion, and you too, little feller. I mean, and, uh, big feller, Tolkis, you big feller. The rats taught me humility. Thank you for the lesson, Cletus. Oh, humility, eh? Oh, okay. Sure. Well, you might want to get them bites checked out, because sometimes rats have, uh, you know, like, rabies and stuff. Well, they taught me hunger, and I'm ready to eat. Let's go. Well, I'm sure if you talk to Pappy Gray, him and Marta can put you up in the, the plucked chicken for the night and you can rest your wounds, you know. Oh yeah, they've already invited us. All right, all right. Go with you. All right, all right, all right. All these rats taught me to do. All these rats taught me was uh, this this stupid cat can't even fucking handle a rat. Farmer that don't know how to grow corn. Go figure. Didn't his father exile him? No. Not exile. Um, kick him out. Okay. I know how to grow corn, I just don't know how to clean corn, okay? Well, you head back to the plucked chicken and you see Pappy Gray. He's, sitting, he's rocking on the porch. He's smoking like a corn cob pipe. Blows out a big, huge smoke ring. He says, ah, hey! Y'all back already? Uh, saw you run around that car field over there. Boy, looks like a whole commotion going on there. What, what happened? The rats made our resident cat over here completely useless. Yeah, it looks like they made a meal out of all y'all. You look like chewed up corn cobs with, with legs. 
I, I feel kind of fine, I think. Still look better than the corn we had earlier. Yeah, that was some na that was a nasty yeah. ear of corn. That's for sure. Ooh, I hate when you guys talk about my corn! It looks a lot better back at the farm! Well, so mm. well, draw a picture or something. I don't draw. Anyway. So, yes. We took care of the rat problem. Your uh, cousin Cletus, I believe. Uh, his name, Cletus. Yes. Yeah, cousin Cletus. Uh, he will be yeah. uh re his fields now. Worked up quite an appetite, I did. That's good news. That's good news. That's great news. Well, uh, like, I'm a man of my word. Pa if Papa Gray is nothing else, he's a man of his word. And y'all can uh, y'all can stay here to pluck chicken. You, you look like you need some rest anyway, because you're all sort of, like I said, chewed up like corn cobs and legs. Shoot. Yeah, here, take a take a pull of this. This will make you feel better. And he hands you this ah. this clay jug. Okay. Uh, she'll take a, a decent sized swig. Oh, she will, will she? Okay. Well, in that case, go ahead and roll in the strong alcohol table. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, you're right there. All right, that that corn whiskey just hits you like a hammer. I mean, it just burns all the way down, like drinking gasoline all the way down your esophagus, giving you the, the worst heartburn at first, and then sort of dissolves in, into this warm, this warmth that just fills your whole body after a while, and you just have this strong, even your eyelids sort of droop a little bit, you're all... Oh yeah, you almost are involuntarily purring. It feels yeah, so at good. first I almost, I go like super stiff like a boar, and all the hair on my back stands up. <laughs> my whiskers get super straight and just stick right. straight out. My eyes get huge and like smoke comes rolling out of my mouth, and then suddenly I just relax. My eyes get droopy. My whiskers get droopy. Right. My tail just starts to hang and swing back and forth. Nice. Yeah, so you'll have plus one to strength and con for the next four hours, minus two to dex and wisdom. The next four hours. You just... Does anybody else want the drink? I'll try. Ah, there you go. That a boy. Here you go, Tokus. Bastion, you may want to leave it alone. It's a big boy drink. Oh, is that a short joke? <laughs> yes, yes, it was. <laughs> Athletics and push him down. Okay. Damn. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Now, but I do get. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, acrobatics or athletics? Um. Minus one on your acrobatics. Yeah. Let's go minus one on acrobatics. <laughs> yeah. You just you're still you're still rocked from your injuries, your brush with death, and now this corn and whiskey. He easily pushes you down. So yeah, stumble, I fall down fall to the down ground, to just stumble, <laughs> fall right down into the ground, turn around, look up at him, and I'm just like, it's like <laughs> seriously, look, does that make you, you feel better now? I look at you and I go, ooh, who's a, who looks, who's shorter now, huh? That makes you feel better. You feel better now that you put me on the ground. Yeah, I'll feel better when I put you on the ground, put you on your back like that. All right, I'm glad you feel better now, and I yeah. stand up and I start pushing the... I push him down again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, this oh. time it's ready for you to sidestep you easily. Yeah. Oh! Drunk and wounded. That was not. just a joke! <laughs> Now, Tolkis, that hits you, and you're just like, oh, this is the most delicious thing you've ever had. You didn't realize fermented corn mash could be so good. So, so tasty. Good. Uh, you gain one temporary hit point. Go ahead and put that in your temp HP. Until you'll have that until your next long rest. And you gain plus one to your charisma for the next two hours. And uh, make a wisdom save versus DC 12 or take another sip. That charisma made me plus zero. It's awesome. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, the edge off. yeah, he just he's kind of smiling with his big flushed cheeks, and all of a sudden he seems a little bit more personable than before. Oops, I did that with advantage. So uh, yeah, I uh, it's a twelve. Yeah, twelve is your first one. Yeah. So okay, so you 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 don't need to drink again. You're like woo, smacking your lips. That's some good stuff. Bastion. Yeah. Try. I take it and I just drink it. Okay. Huh, big big boy drink my ass. I <laughs> drink this. Sh- <laughs> Roll so on I, strong I, I alcohol. All right. <clears throat> yeah, similar sensation to talk. It's like, oh wow. I mean, you've had. They made something back in your town, but I mean, it tastes like, it tastes like toilet liquor. It's like Pruno compared to this. I mean, this is just like <laughs> the distilled essence of the corn gods. And you definitely have to drink. take another drink. Oh, this is so good. Mm. Uh, you gain one temporary hit point, and your charisma goes up a little bit, and your strength goes up by one, con by one, and you lose dex and wisdom for the next four hours. Uh, so, Grandpappy, you say this is from fermented corn, yes? Well, it's a, it's a complicated problem. We got a still, you got to make it in a mash, and then you let it ferment, and then you got to boil it, you know, and they let the let the, all the air boilings and steamings and stuff go up into them coals, and then they boil off the the, the alcohol, and then you condense it back into this here corn squeezes. But you use like good corn right like oh, the corn yeah. that you grow here yeah yeah it's all grace on corn yeah see bastion if you had good corn this is the type of stuff you could make look here see it wooey tell you what my corn is so good i'll show you to my daddy's farm okay it's gonna it's gonna make you it's gonna make your furs go sticking up and that I don't know what the tail of yours drink, is gonna be good. Just mm, this is... Take another drink. It's okay. I take another drink. Uh, okay. <laughs> again. Yeah, this time you're like, oh my ah! god. Ah! Ah! Negative two to everything but strength. Yeah. <laughs> and you feel con. really strong. Like you could just take on the world right now, but you're stumbling around, mm, swaying back and forth. Wee, I feel like I could push you on the ground again. <laughs> I'm gonna take the jug from him and I might myself. just do it. Uh, yeah. Does uh do yeah. the what? does the minus twos uh combine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. I'm gonna take the jug from him, uh, from Bastion, and yeah, it's all take cumulative. Yeah. Wake myself. Go ahead and get to take it from him and take a swig yourself? Yes, I am. Okay, roll on the strong Thank alcohol you. table. Under the collection Plus tab. Three strength. Thank you. Four. Um, Plus three. Four. Am I just blind? It's near the bottom of the collections tab. Strong alcohol. On the character sheet? On the collection tab? Uh, no, on the tab, the tab to your right. right for your settings chat. Tab. Yeah. Oh, that's actually a tab there. I'm yeah, those are those little icons or tabs. Yeah. Um, you set on the bottom. Yeah, near the bottom. Oh, there it is. Yeah. I found it. Yeah, this is... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it burns your delicate throat and you lose one hit point and just pass oh, out. I am unconscious. <laughs> you, just, <laughs> you just swoon and pass Whoa. out. <laughs> 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 we look like she can't even hold her liquor. <laughs> she just slumps against the side of the porch and then slides down. The big grin on her unconscious face. <laughs> Pappy's like, yeah, yeah, sometimes that happens. Sometimes that happens, that's for sure. God damn it. 
<laughs> so you said something about the uh, chicken dinner, no? Oh yeah, yeah. We'll get you, get you all set up. Marta's almost done fixing it. We got chicken, uh, we got baked chicken, chicken stew, uh, chicken dumplings. Yeah, you get a, a corn bread, corn pie. Ah, it smells yeah. divine. Yeah, it's gonna be hush puppies. You're gonna love it. It's gonna be good. I mean, if you like that, if you like chicken and corn, that's pretty much all we eat around here, around these parts. I love corn. <laughs> Woo! Woo wee! Okay. All right. Starts flashing everybody. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So Bambi. It's spring break, twenty seventeen. <laughs> Bambi will come to it about two hours. It's conscious. Yeah. Man. And, Make them a beaded necklace of corn kernels. And, and she comes to it. You just hear. The, you just smell the aroma of freshly baked cornbread, butter, fresh butter, uh, rosemary chicken with herbs, and you hear the clatter of dishes and plates and people eating. And you and you wake up inside of the plucked chicken. It kind of set you on one of the little benches there. You wake up to see. These, these wonderful smells just, you know, assaulting you, uh, bringing you out of your unconsciousness. And you can see everybody's just eating uh, away, stuffing themselves, having a great time, uh, talking with Pappy Gray and Marta and a couple of the other Grays that you haven't met before. And, uh, yeah, you guys can take a long rest if you want. At, at, during dinner, though, Pappy Gray will say, We'll let you know that he actually he did talk around and uh, talked around with some of his relatives and neighbors. Well, actually both. And he did find out that Homer Homer's son had seen a seen that man, not a seen somebody when he was out playing in the east. He saw that man with the strange matted hair, those long locks of dreaded out hair, had seen him meet someone on the road a couple miles to the east um, and the man was on a horse he couldn't see his face he was wearing this cloak and he didn't see who the the dread haired man was talking to but he did there, they did pass like a, something between them and then the man on the horse turned and rode to the east and then he hid Homer's son hid and the uh, man with the dreaded hair walked back to Gray's home it's a good idea that he hid. So, yeah. He's not very, very savory type of man. He was not. Um, so, I mean, it seems like East is our only lead. Well, before you head out East, make sure you take a nice, nice long rest here. Uh, you know, in the morning, we was, we was going to run the chickens, but if you want, we could... Uh... We could do a little chicken run before you go. Just kind of get your blood up after breakfast. Race them. What's the, uh, yeah. What does a chicken run exactly? Oh, it's just something we do around here for fun. Tomorrow's basically our day of rest anyway. So, you know, we all get together, make some big meals, hang out, and uh, race chickens. It's just uh, it's one of the things we do, right? Ch you know, push over cows, race chickens. You know, just a good old hijinks you, you do on the farm. Hmm. Play cornhole. You know what? what? After supper, we should go out there and play some cornhole before you all go to bed. What do you think? Cornhole. I, what exactly is cornhole? Cornhole? You, know, you ain't, Come on. You all never heard of cornhole? Come on. How about yeah, you, little bookie butthole? You, you heard a cornhole before? Yeah. Bastion? Just just walk me through it. Uh, it's hard to explain. i got to show you how to play it. you just got to trust. Tell you what, y'all come out behind the behind the uh, end. We'll place it. We'll set. We'll get it all set. Homer, you get it all set up. We'll come out in a bit. We'll play some cornhole. Okay, then, Cornhole it is, I guess. Does that sound okay to you guys? I think it's not as painful as that alcohol was. <laughs> oh, Tocus? darling, that, that alcohol is not painful at all. You sure had a big I'd smile like on your face. I'd like to see this, Cornhole. Yes. 
cornholes are sometimes interesting to see. Uh, Bastion. <laughs> yeah. You know anything about this cornhole? Not this cornhole, but the this game, this thing that he speaks of cornhole. Do I know anything about cornhole? Um, make Is it a... a common game amongst farmers that play, play, uh, use corn? Make a, yeah, make a uh, make a history check. Yeah, sure. Or, oh boy. Let's see, Nate. Yeah, four, history. Yeah. yeah, or whatever you think. Farming, nature. I don't know. I mean, I would think that would be. Sure. Sure. I think history's more funny. Yeah, do history. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. You're you're uh, uh, your great uncle Faraway was a cornhole champion of three counties. Uh, it's uh, it's all a game of skill. You toss these corn cobs or either corn cobs or bags filled with corn, you know, dried corn, and you toss them into these uh, these boards that have a hole cut out. And you, Sort of like horseshoes, but you're tossing corn into the holes of the boards, and you make, you uh, score points by by getting the corn to go through the hole of the board or land as close as the hole as possible. Woo wee! See ya. Ah, of course I know what cornhole is. I play that all the time. My uncle, my great uncle, used to be the champion. Man, he uh, we uh, used to play all the time. He used to teach me some of his skills. I wasn't I mean I'm not as good as him but I, I play I, I won a game or two hmm. okay so we will be playing this cornhole okay you guys want to take a short break and then we'll go play some cornhole sounds good short break. Yeah. All right. I got excited cornhole BRB <laughs>
Talk, cause you played cornhole then, right? You know how it goes, right? Yes, sir, I was not lying when I said I was drunk yesterday playing. <laughs> it's not a big West Coast thing. You don't see a lot of people on the West Coast don't even know what it means. Mm. They, they, the first time I ever heard it, this guy from Ohio is like, "Yeah, you guys ever play get drunk and play cornhole?" And we're like, "What?" What the fuck are you talking about? It's a great about? name. I know. <laughs> I know. You guys ever get drunk and play cornhole? Like, no. No, we don't. Yeah, it's really big in uh, tailgating. Oh, yeah, because you can drink while you do it. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a season ticket holder to the England Revolution, so I'm tailgating every weekend pretty much. Nice. So that and like Can Jam is a game that's played a lot too. What's Can Jam? Can Jam, it's uh, two plastic barrels on each side. Both of them have open tops, and there's a, a slit on the front side of each barrel. And each team, two players on each team, you have a frisbee, and it's Almost kind of the same as cornhole, where one point you hit the barrel, three points. If you get it in the slot, you win the game. Mm. If your partner whacks the frisbee and uh, and makes a hit, then that's two points. Mm. Or yeah, and then uh, if you get it into the top, it's three points. Nice. Yeah, so it's you know, it's fun. You ever heard of same same ball? thing? You know, drunk playing. Yeah. Heard of what, Gino? Frisbee golf. Yeah, oh yeah, I love frisbee golf. There's a there's a winery down here in McMinnville that they have a big frisbee golf course. So you get do all your tastings. You get That's cool. Buzzed as hell to walk out there and play frisbee frisbee golf. It's kind of fun. I used to love playing frisbee. I was a big tetherball fan. Tetherball. Yeah, I used to play frisbee up until I was like, God, I played frisbee. Even when I was in Saudi Arabia, we were playing frisbee. There's not much else to do out there anyway. Ugh. So you split up into teams. Well, Sai is definitely going to take the cleaner looking corn. The white corn? Yeah. Also have it set up in the rollable table as you can play dagger parchment stone if you don't know if you want to 
<laughs> you need to make a decision about who does what. That's great. Let's make a macro for that. Oh, I do have a macro for that. Hold on. For the darkness has passed and the legend yet grows. There we go. You'll know the token. Anybody's ready, we can go. Hello, hello. Thank you. It's really quiet. Is there anybody there? I'm here. Okay. All right, I'm back.
Hello. 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 Everybody back? Everybody back? Boing. Yep. Yep. Hey, I'm playing. One back. Back in black. Out of the sack. All right. So here's how you play. I don't want to be in this one. What's that? I don't want to be in your cornhole. Wait, you said sack. <laughs> It's in sack. It's enough about being a man. All right, so you need to pick teams. <laughs> Two people on each team. Sia has already, si already picked the white team. So we need two on the red. I want to be on that person's team. Well, it looks cleaner. White sounds racist. I'm good with it. Okay. Very well. All right. The other one looks kind of dirty, like it came from, uh, from your farm. Oh, you know what? You know what, Sia? That's it. You're gonna get a corn to the face again. <laughs> okay. All right. So here's how you play cornhole. You've divided into two teams, red and white. Your score counters are up here. There's a red and a white. I'll keep track of what your score is. You will both hey. representative from each team rolls a d20. See who goes, and whoever has the highest roll goes first. first. And then you will take turns throwing corn cobs at the cornhole board. I'll keep track of your points. You get three points for throwing the cob into the center hole. You get two points if you get it into the first ring. And you get, I'm sorry, you get two points if you get it on the, on the first ring. Ooh, say that again. Whoops. I confused myself. Hold on. That ring, boom and boom. All right, so you get three points for the hole, two points for the ring, and one point if you land anywhere on the board. If you roll too low, you won't even land on the board. So what you do is do dex checks, and whatever that result will be is where your corn cob will go. All right. So, Bastion, you rolled a two, and we need someone for the white team to roll. Go ahead, Spark. Okay. Funny. Okay. All right. So, it looks like the white team's going first. Okay. All right. I'll take the handicap. And what happens is... Um, You're already handicapped. Each round says the no. Taller than you. Each round is four tosses. Is a total of four tosses, and then you determine the points by figuring out um, the total team points. Is whoever's got. I subtract team reds points from team whites points, so that whoever's got the most points gets that many points for their team score. You'll see how it goes. Check. First team to reach 21 is the winner. Okay. Oh boy. All right, white team, you're up. So dex checks, you get two dex checks per person as you throw your cops up there. Okay, Bambi, you won the toss. You go first. Oh god. Um. Well then. Dex check. Hey. All right. Nice. You got a ringer. Good job. Yay. Um, you say I got two per person, yep. right? Two cobs per person. And hey. you got a woody border. You got one on the board. So that would be, so far you have three points. Okay, red team. Who's going up? Who's next? <clears throat> all right, Tokus. Let me go ahead and show them what I got. By all means. I'm like staring at Sia, and I stare at the board. Remember, your um, minus was because you're drunk. I thought it was the next day. I thought we long rested. No, this is the evening. Yeah. Um, the... You said it was at least two hours later, though. So yeah, any yeah, of the yeah. So you, two so hours Bambi's stuff. fine, but Bastion and everybody else are at the four hour bonus. Yeah, oh. four hours. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Well, that would just be a twenty-one. 
Uh, so minus. minus four, right? So, yeah, 21. All right. <coughs> cornhole! You got one right in the hole, buddy. The cornhole! Hey! <laughs> you know, that's how you do it, see ya. You gotta, you gotta put your whole body into it, you know? You gotta just... Like you this. look at her and you notice that she's not paying any attention. She's just licking her paw and then oh, her across her I face. take the corn knife, throw it at her. And see. <laughs> <laughs> I take my corn and throw it at Sia. Yeah, <laughs> instead make, of the hole. Yeah, make a dex check. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, just ah, you throw it near Sia. It falls. <laughs> Still counts. Wrong way, Bastion. Ooh, first one. You dex check. Um, the last subtract, star. Subtract the proficiency bonus from it, and that's it. Need a dex check. Yeah. You click. You click the thing that says dexterity on your ability score, Gino. Gino. There you go. Yeah, I got it. I was just pulling it up. All right. Okay. Cornhole! One more. Okay. And did you have any minuses for the drinks? That yeah. You had? Well, I got a negative one. Okay, so it's a total of 11. That one's like, ah, just a little too drunk, and it just lands short <laughs> of the board. <laughs> All right, Tolkis, you're up. Here we go. Cornhole! Oh, my God. Dose cornholes. Oh, and almost another cornhole. Just lands just on the rim. So short. Okay. Back in my time, we call that one a rim job. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's a rim job. <laughs> So that is three corn holes. Sorry, two corn holes and a rim job for you guys and a miss. So that was <laughs> six, eight points for your team. We're just gonna do it. This just goes straight up. Right, okay. So we got eight points for your team, and then white team had a cornhole, a woody border, and uh, got one in the circle. So that's five. You had three, five, six points as well. So we're six points total. All right, <clears throat> next round. White, you're up. First run of 21 wins. I'm going to let Sai go first this time. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm just clapping my hands going, Brick! Brick! Oh, miss. Wow. Too short. Haha, <laughs> that's right, see ya. Oh, shit. Oh, just. <laughs> How can I be rolling that bad with the plus? Oh, corn squeezes. Okay. It's okay, at least you're taller than him. Woo -wee. I was trying to tell you how to do it, but you wouldn't listen, stupid cat. That's why I got beat up by rats. Maybe if you grew a foot, we could hear you. No, Bambi. You ain't so tall yourself. Yeah, but... You and your little book and your your stupid-ass looking glasses. Look, they're, they're I'm so sorry, tiny. wait a second. Did I hear something? Did I just... No, I didn't hear anything. My bad. <laughs> Red team. I think it's Bastion. All right, Tolkis, you go first. Tolkis, all right. Very well. Ooh, gets it in the ring. Oh. And you like you go to throw it, but it slips out of your hand and falls behind your back on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Good job, Tokus. Bambi. Okay, my turn. It's my turn. It's Bambi's up. Oh wait. Yeah, go ahead. White, red, white. Yeah, yes. I got it. Yep. Tax. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking halflings trying to take their cards first. 
Hey, man. Halfling wants it. Oh, that's a miss, but you do get one on the board. All right, oh. Tolkis. All right, so Woody, two. Border. <laughs> These two ain't got no skill whatsoever. Oh, that's another ringer. <laughs> got me my rim job. My rim job. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> As you're dancing around saying, rim job, got my rim job. You go to throw it. And you just, you don't, you're, oh shit. You realize you're throwing it at the wrong board for a second. And then it just kind of, <laughs> all right. So at that round, you've got four more for team red and you've got one more for team white. Okay. Third round. White's up. I thought it was winner goes first. Oh, we're just going white, red, white, red. White's up. Not you guys. Go ahead, Bambi. Okay. We seem to do better when you go first. Oh, uh, that's... Miss! Miss! Clap, clap, clap. Ooh, we got two on the board. Boom and a boom. Oh. All right. Red team. All right, Tokus. Woo! I take this one. Ooh, got a ringer. Very nice. Is that including your negatives, though, Bastion? Yeah, those are all with negatives. Okay. All right, you got a ringer and a card hole. Just clips the Ooh. edge and then falls in. Nice. Because I got a minus four. White team. Because we have twelve decks. You get really lucky on those rolls. <laughs> really is. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I am. <laughs> I got like a plus three, and I ain't got fucking above fifteen. Yeah. I have a plus three, and I'm still getting below fifteen. Okay, I, I only have a plus one right now. Sai, Sai. All right. Ooh, it's in the ring. And oh, just, ah, I can't believe that shit. Way off. <laughs> Tulkus. Oh, it's a cornhole uh, uh, uh. and a ringer. Wow, look at that. Two cornholes, two ringers. That's six. Ten points. That makes them win. <laughs> Two and you guys get uh, eleven. <laughs> Turn green, white. All right, nice job. Looks like Team Red wins. Pappy Grazel. Oh, that's a good job. Wow, well, you, you know, bastard, you definitely do know how to play cornhole. Looks like you played growing up playing it, huh? That's oh job yeah, there, son. That's impressive. Ooh, great uncle used to be a champ. All right, everybody gets fifty experience for that. And yes. Tulkus and Bastion, you both get um, DM inspiration for winning. Nice. Sweet. I'm going to throw a corn at Bastion. Go for it. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a little bit higher than that to get him. Yeah. A little Aww. bit more than that. And uh, yeah. let's see. <laughs> Tulkus and Bastion, I'm going to give you guys. Uh... Oh, yeah, you got. Oh, you're kind of... yeah, you got Were you throwing at me, too? All right. Oh, yeah, that one yeah. hits me, I think. Yeah, that's a hit. Smack to the corner of the cob. You're no, what, the, what the fuck is now, that now, shit? Now, now, now. Just calm Bambi. down. Let's be good sports. Let's be good sports now. Bambi, Fellas. quit throwing corn cobs at him now. It's not his fault he's dirty. Ooh, the, the two of you just, they're just hate both of y'all, and then I fly into a rage. All right, can we could we could talk about this more specifically. I feel like there has been some misunderstanding here. Uh, you know, I I feel like there's just it just feels I just feel like you guys are ganging up on me. It doesn't feel quite right. Um, it just you know. I apologize. You, you were always this civil. 
It's, it's more like you're flying into a calm instead of a rage. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so raging that I'm calm. You're Rage naturally so the hard, dumb it just, hawk. It just fucking then... breaks a blood vessel that like. <laughs> right. I mean, those are <laughs> the anger blood changes, vessel changes this person. What's that when they're really pissed off? They're calm. I think that makes it worse. <laughs> nice. But uh, yeah. I will have to push you once. What? And I get and I get advantage on it. So fifteen. On me? So I just, no, I just push Sia. Yay! <laughs> Are you shitting me? <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Yeah, get those I'm low, glad we could. Get those low rolls out now. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm glad we could come to this understanding. And, uh, you know, everything's good now. And okay, then all of a sudden, good. he just snaps back and just, Yeah, that's right, Sia! I hate you! <laughs> You're on the ground! <laughs> you stuck dick! God damn. <laughs> a nasty little bastard, isn't he? <laughs> she stands back up, and the minute he turns his back, she flips him off. <laughs> Pappy Gray just chuckles. So does Homer. Like, all right. All right, then. Go to bed, Pappy. We'll set up the your visitors here. All right, we set up some beds for y'all. The upper stairs there, you got to share rooms. Maybe, uh, you know, maybe red team should stay with the red one room, white team stay in the other room. Some a little bit of bad blood between y'all. That's probably best. At least, yeah. least, least till you calm down a little least, bit. Get some breakfast in your bellies. Yeah, we're pretty tired. Uh, save, I could use the rest. Save your, save your five for the chicken race in the morning. You're going to need it. How is, how is our halfling supposed to keep up with chickens? <laughs> You'll see. You'll see how it goes. All right. So, uh, unless there's anything else you want to do, you guys can take a go ahead and take your long rest. All right. And then uh, again in the morning, you'll awake to the aromas of sizzling bacon, fresh corn muffins, uh, corn uh, grits, buttered grits and um, something that smells like coffee but probably is not coffee probably some kind of something made out of chicory nuts and some other kind of burnt maybe hazelnuts or something but it's hot and warm and um, there's mostly something else added to it because it perks you up a little bit and that hammering headache that you have from the corn squeezins goes away after you've eaten enough greasy food and enough of that brown, hot brown liquid. Happy Gray looks at y'all and says, Oh, you, you fellas are going out there to find, find those uh, corn goblins, eh? Those corn bones? Yeah, we have a feeling we'll probably have to come across them eventually. I mean, if that's okay with everybody else. We're headed that direction anyway. We might as well look into it, don't you think? I thought we were chasing chickens. Yeah, yeah, y'all gonna gonna do chicken race for good luck before you head out. That's always a good, uh, we do that uh, every seventh day. You know, we don't really work. We have a couple chicken races in the morning. Kids go fishing. You know, do things around if the house. If it's as fun as cornhole, around. I'm in. Oh, it's pretty fun. Uh, you don't even, it's even easier to cornhole, really. We're just gonna... Go out back, pick you, pick you out your chickens, and then let her go. Whatever chicken gets to the end first is a winner. Oh. We have something very similar. Art's, art's all about picking a chicken. All right. When you guys are ready, you may head out to the field out back for the chicken run. All right. Cymax is out some uh, grits and bacon for sure. I'll oh, yeah. try out the not coffee. Yeah, the not coffee, it's actually, it's bitter, but with enough sugar in there, it's not too bad. They have honey. 
Uh, they also have definitely some cream, coffee. lots of fresh cream. If that's your thing. Uh, it's pretty good. It goes with the corn biscuits and the or the corn muffins and the other food pretty well. So helps definitely helps take the edge off of the hangover. The hangover. All right. So when you're done, you all sort of head out there. Maybe even holding your mugs of coffee, still nursing those. I don't know. It yeah. leads you out yeah. to the this one of the chick the one of the fields that's been sort of hewn down and is ready to be plowed over. Uh, so there's not much. It's pretty just a little bit of bracken on the on the field now. It's cropped almost all the way to the dirt. And you see, uh, what is it? We'll say four chickens up there. And Homer strikes you, points the chickens out. You just uh. You saw pick out your chicken. We'll line them all up right there. And, uh, you know, we'll, I'll, I'll blow this here a whistle. And you just you cheer your chicken on. You go, go, chicken, go, chicken, go. And, uh, and uh, our first chicken to get to the other end is a winner. Boy, I picked the blue chicken. Sai will probably go with the red one, being as how it matches for Tolkien. <laughs> okay. Um, then I guess I got the yellow one. All right. So we got blue, red, blue, red, yellow. And uh, what color do you want, Tolkien? There's purple, orange, and green left. Green. Green. All right. So green. So here's what you're going to do. Everybody, let's see. Before we Everybody. start, I want to talk to my chicken. What are you going to say to your chicken? <laughs> Ooh, what do you say to the chicken? Oh, my gosh. Chicken, <laughs> honorable chicken, if you make it to the other side before your friends, I will feed you a lot. Ooh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you have advantage. Hold on. <clears throat> Make sure this pecking thing is working here. Go on. Piercing. Uh, yeah, I don't have persuasion, so that's the same role. Oh, uh, the four hour things for the alcohol is gone. Yeah, that's yep. all. Yeah, that's out. yeah, no, that's my normal charisma. Oh, okay, Christmas. just shit. <laughs> when he drank the alcohol, it made his charisma better. I was cooler. You were drunk. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's see. Let me make sure this uh, is going to work. Perfect. All right. All right, that's working. All right, so everybody pick your chicken and roll for initiative. Select your chicken and roll for initiative. Uh, <laughs> Oops, we don't have the. Um, here, hold no on. modifier. Yeah, hold on. Let me let me. We'll start this over again. Let me put the names on here. Well, if you hover over the that thing, it'll show yeah. you the yellow box. Talk us. I'll just do this a little easier because I'm going to forget Tulkus. Yellow was whom? Um, Bambi. Bambi. And red was. Red was Sorry. Psy. And blue was. Bastion. Bastion. Right, and just let me see the names here. Okay, you need to be closer together. Let me start this off. You'll see why in a second. Let's see. And focus. All right, go <coughs> ahead. Go ahead and let's see. There's no modifier. Let me see what it says here. 
sheet dex is yeah zero modifier is zero so go ahead and roll let's go ahead and re-roll the there we go perfect hey <laughs> nice oh well, damn that was just playing all along all right so what you're gonna do each round is you're gonna roll if you click on your chicken token you should see something that says chicken move you're gonna hit the chicken move macro on your turn and then do what it says uh, Tokus is get on the. Tokus, go ahead and roll. Roll initiative again. You gotta click it. Yeah. Damn it. Here we go. Yeah. Bambi, you're up first. Now, if your chicken runs off <laughs> the track, it's disqualified. Or if it gets killed, it gets to it's disqualified. So you can't take an action. Okay, you so I get your chicken. Up to twenty. Thank you. <laughs> um, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Okay. Bambi's chicken out the lead. Tulkus. Ooh, move east at full speed. Okay. So just twenty. Yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bye. Cool, I can move as I wish. Go for it. And then Bastion. You guys can dash, too. Just FYI, as a bonus action. Oh. Okay, I'll dash. Oh. Okay. Well, no, oh. you can't take an action. Oh yeah, yeah. That's right. yeah, it's an action. Yeah. Sorry, it's not a bonus. Oh, no, never mind. mind. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, oh chicken move. Yeah. All right, Sorry. Bastion. All right, now Bambi. So they're kind of pecking around. Mm. All right. Uh, One move, Tulkus. Oh, uh, that's Tulkus. My bad. There we go. Okay. Tulkus, you're up. <laughs> All right, All right. Tulkus. So, attack creature closest, closest to east. So, would that be. That's Bambi. Bambi? Yep. And do a peck attack. And what's the attack? It's open your. If you, Double click and open your sheet. If you hold shift and double click, it'll open up your sheet. And then you'll see there's a <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, okay. there's sheet. Here we go. Ooh! Your fucking Bambi takes one damage. Uh, it's it's rolling miss, nine, right? I have a oh, ten. it's a miss. You have a ten. It pecks at Bambi and misses. Alright. <laughs> see ya. Oh! I guess that would be Bastion. Oh, it doesn't seem like this. Oh, did it be Bastion? Okay. Yeah, the closest thing to the West. Okay. Okay. Bring it. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> A bunch of feathers fly, but no damage. <laughs> <laughs> you can still move. <laughs> okay. I would like to go attack of opportunity. <laughs> uh, no. Okay. Yes, <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> uh, it's my turn? Okay. Yeah. Got it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't, chicken! No! Yeah, if you run off the, you run out of the field, you're you're disqualified. Yeah. Bambi. Bless you. Oh. oh my gosh. Okay. Five, ten, eight. I can't count. There we Tolkis. go. Tolkis. Yeah, that's funny. 
Okay, see ya. Or sigh. Interesting. Size chicken beer south. Kind of following, mimicking Bastion. <laughs> Bastion, you're up. Alrighty. <laughs> oh, oh. Back at the start. <laughs> God damn, stupid chicken doesn't oh, know where he's God. going. And Bambi, uh, looks like they're all veering to the south. <laughs> It's like they're beating a predator. All right, pick a tag. That's a miss. Ha! Sorry, you're up. Tulkus, they're neck and neck. Tulkus is pecking Bambi. Bambi, go! Oh, Bambi's trying breaks away. <laughs> Tulkus, oh, oh <laughs> snap! Get attacking me, Bambi. Uh. Tulkus fears up north. Oh god! <laughs> 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 Tulkus. Runs to the southeast, Bambi. Yay! Buddy. Oh, pulls ahead of Tulkus. Tulkus. Tulkus and Bambi neck and neck. Bambi. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean attack? Tulkus, yeah. yeah. There you go. Okay, cool. Uh, Hack, where are you? There we go. Oh, nope. it's a miss. <laughs> Tulkus. Bambi desperately oh. attacking. Oh, it scares him off and he runs back west. <laughs> Bambi, you're up. What? Oh, that's it. Yeah, uh, just attack Tulkus, it's fine. He's the closest thing. That's what I assume. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 you killed Tulkus' chicken! You murdered chicken of Tulkus! <laughs> you killed Tulkus' chicken! <laughs> you have any Critical. Left? You have five movement left. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you have five movement left. Yeah, I'm just gonna say, yeah. <laughs> Actually, let's make your roll and see what happens. Just keep going. Let's roll again. That, yeah, just uh, roll again. Just keep attacking him. There you okay. go. <laughs> Makes it to the other end. Nice. Very nice. That's why the other two took off south. They knew Bambi was a bad bitch. Wow. <laughs> nice job. Oh my gosh. Right. I'm gonna okay, sorry. Nicely done. Tulkus is chicken. He's finally had enough of Tulkus is shit. Just killed him. <laughs> nice. Okay. Well, good job. I will
will give uh, I will give Bambi inspiration for winning the chicken race. Yay! Oh my gosh. I won with murder. <laughs> <laughs> and then let's see, Bastion's got it. Bastion and Tulkus both have inspiration for winning, Carnal. <laughs> All right. Okay, nice job. Yeah, good times had by everybody. And don't worry, the chicken that was killed will be dinner tonight, so. It won't go to waste. Well, Peppy Gray. It's been a lot of fun. You've opened our eyes to uh, your culture around here. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we've enjoyed our time, but we need to be getting on the road. Otherwise, it'll get late and we won't want to leave. Yeah, I understand. Y'all, good luck. Good luck finding that fella in the mask and... If you do happen to come across some corn bolts, uh, if you can't take them out, at least let us know where they are. And maybe we can send a few fellers up there. Sure, sure, absolutely. We'll uh, mark it on the map. Sounds like a plan. All Man, right. It's been a, been a real pleasure having y'all folks here. Anytime you want to stop by Gray's home, you're welcome. That's for sure. Oh, I'm sure when we're on our way back through towards Westfall, we'll definitely probably stop here and. Uh, Take another good sip of them corn squeezins. Perhaps yeah. uh, try another round of cornhole, no? Uh, sounds great. That's it. We love some cornhole around here. Nothing better than getting drunk and playing cornhole. Unless it's racing chickens, yes. right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Mass murder by chicken kind, we'll, absolutely. We'll keep, uh, we'll keep an eye out for that uh, mask feller for you, too. If we see him and you yeah. come around here again, we'll let you know. Oh. Yeah, if you do see him approach with caution, he's a bit dangerous. Sure thing, fellers. Well, so long. Take it easy. Good boy. Are you all ready to to go out and? Ooh, I'm always ready to go out and kill things that threaten all corn kind. Okay, off we go. Okay. So you guys are currently at Gray's home here. And you head east along the road. The old road uh, mostly discontinued. It turns into basically a trail after about a mile or two. You can see that there are some wagon ruts that go you know, a couple miles out of town. But they sort of end after a while. And now it just becomes like this really well-used game trail. So you can make out where the old road was, but it's been, it's starting to, it's been overgrown for a while because nobody really heads to the east anymore since Rivertown was destroyed so many years ago. But obviously people from Gray's Home and Hunters still use this trail to go out and hunt game. Also the animals apparently use it. You can see tracks from elk and deer and other, other game out here. Um... You do see some interesting tracks that look like some sort of large predator. Uh, if you can roll me a survive, someone wants to roll me a survival check, you might be able to discern what kind of tracks they are. Um, I will. I will search through my book. See if I have any information on. I'll go ahead and roll. See. What... Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like a bar mm -hmm. to you, Bastion. Looks like a big old yeah, Bambi and and Bambi. You can confirm it's not just a bear; it's obviously some sort of brown. It's a brown bear. Yay! So not just a little black <laughs> bear; it's a big old brown bear, or what some people might call grizzlies. Has it noticed us? No, it's just the the track. Um, it's just tracks, so you know that there's oh, one. Just tracks. one. One has been following this trail. And I am going to draw a picture footprint. Okay. Nice. Yeah, you spend a moment making a sketch of the print. And it's a nice fresh one too. So it's in this nice big thick. So it's patch. probably close by then. <laughs> so uh, yes, there is a bear close by. I suggest that we have our uh, our tallest friend go. Sebastian, that's you. Maybe we could just try to go I, around it. I feel like this is some kind of irony. 
it is, it is a bear. You want to fight a bear? Yeah, but, I mean, is it threatening corn? I don't think it'd be threatening the corn. I think it's just, uh... uh it would threaten the farmers and thus the threatened corn. I'm okay with that logic. I'll go first. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps I could convince him to leave. Right. I don't think there's any reason to be killing a bear when it's just in its natural habitat. I didn't say we should kill it, I just said that Bastion should go first. You know, you really you really heavily implied that you wanted to kill it though. You know, woo wee, I mean <laughs> I mean you, you appeal to my sentiment for corn. I think I think I agree with Tolkis. Maybe he can uh maybe he can talk to it and see if it wants to leave or maybe we can just uh go around and not worry about coming in contact with it at all. But if we fear it may threaten farmers then we should do something. Yeah, I understand. I believe. Yeah, sure. Would we uh, know that it's close enough? Well, I could roam that well, far. With the 19, yeah, I mean, it definitely could. I mean, you're only about a couple miles, two, three miles outside of town. So it's possible. I mean, they do have livestock in Gray's home. So a big grizzly like that, if it gets too close to town, yeah, it could easily prey on their livestock or children or something. It's not, not unheard uh, of. Not I'm going to follow the tracks. Okay, yeah, the tracks the tracks go along the the old road for for a while. You follow for about a mile, and you get up to where it looks like there's a large side of a hill to your south. Uh, the track sort of goes around the side of a hill. Uh, it rises upward to your south and goes downward to your north, feeding into the river here in the north. You can hear the sound of a waterfall as you can see it kind of cascading down the hill, side of the hill, uh, actually going over the road and sort of forming a large pool right there on the road before continuing downward to the north and then down to the river. Uh, it appears there's an animal drinking from the... Um, can I identify it? Yeah, make a survival check. Oh, it's a bear. It's a bear cub. Is it brown? It is brown. It's a brown, brown, brown in color. There is a cub drinking. Looks like we should be bear. wary. The mother would be defensive. Um, I'm going to look around and see if I can spot its mother. So hold the cub hostage, and they can give a ransom Are to the mom. Are you serious? I mean, sounds like a good plan, right? No, no, no. not at all. Um, all right, she. All right, everyone, gang up on the half, then she. All right, everybody, go ahead and roll initiative. Let me get rid of these chickens first. Can. Can I roll perception or something to look for a pair? Sure. As in Mother Bear? Yeah, you can on your turn. You absolutely can. <laughs> so we got Tulkus. Um, everybody else good? Uh, hey, it's in order. <laughs> oh, nice. All right, so Tulkus, you're up first. All right, is this a, a rise right here? Yeah, that's the hillside. So it kind of goes upward this way, up into this forest on the hill above you, and downward to the south, where the stream, uh, where the stream cascades down this way, forms a pool here in the middle, and then continues cascading down the hillside. I want to stealth up to here. OK, that would be difficult terrain. Because it's kind oh, of it's steep. steep. Stealth up to you. Okay, stealth check. So 
the bear, I mean, the bear is probably... Yeah, the bear, it looks up and sees you walking on the side of the hill there. Just kind of freezes. It's, its front feet are sort of in the shallow water there. And it stops drinking and looks up at you. We mean you no harm. Where is your mother? Say that in common? In common. I'm saying it in with my plant speech beast thing. So I don't know why I asked the question because it's not like you'd be talking about it. <laughs> okay. Uh, you, okay see it, you see it look in this direction down here. And then look back at you. The mother is in that direction. You see it look in that direction again. All right. And then back at you. Oh, what do you want to do about it? I still wish to try to make them leave. I heard banging stick in a pan together does the job. I feel you may only anger it. Would you like it? I mean, I'm always angry. <laughs> I wish that were true. <laughs> Don't we all? Anything else, Bastion? That was your action and your free action and your move. I mean, Tulkus. Sorry, yeah. I keep confusing you two. Um, no, I'm good. All right, Bastion. Bastion, you're up. All right. I guess I'll walk on up over here next to Tolkis. And, uh... That's it. Watch. I'm just watching him, kind of seeing if he got some kind of magical prowess. Okay. All right. <clears throat> the cub stops looking at you, but then turns around and then kind of barrels down this hill. Across the street. Bambi, you're up. Oh, okay, hi, I just finished. So, um, is downhill rough terrain? Uh, only this sort of brown area. It's the the, the uh, okay. soil is pretty loose there, but you could probably it's pretty gradual to go down this way. Uh, I am. Yeah, no, I like this more. I'm going to run here, and I am going to open my book and furiously write notes about the bear cub. Okay. As I... No, I'm not going to ready a spell. That's it. Alright. <clears throat> Sai, you're up. Okay. I am going to come down into the woods here, use a bonus action to uh, hide. Let's see here. Stealth. 
okay. And then I'll hold my action. If by some chance any of my comrades wind up in melee combat, I'm going to attack whatever creature they're attacking. Okay. Tulkus. With my bow. I have my bow out. Gotcha. Tulkus. All right, I uh, walk down to there, and I'll call out, Mother Bear, we are trying to help. You are too close to the town. You are in danger. Please flee to the east. Hmm. Make, Make a persuasion check with advantage. Nice. Wow, that's an advantage, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh man. All right. From the from the uh, from the south, there you just hear this loud roaring sound, it's huffing and roaring in the woods here, getting closer. Does sound like she's too receptive to what you have to say. She doesn't sound happy. Bastard. Uh, so I hear this noise, and I'm like, Tokus? Uh, why'd you insult her, man? Oh boy. I walk up over here. I'll dash, uh, kind of up to here. I'll, uh, bend down as my action and, uh, throw some water in my face, kind of wipe myself. I'm drinking some water as well. I'm like, oh, all right. Got to prepare myself. Okay. Yeah, you hear this crashing through the trees. And the bear comes charging up right up to Tulkus, stands on its hind legs, just roaring at him. Its mouth open, its long tongue hanging out. It's just like, Ugh! Who's taller? Huh? Uh, it's probably eight feet tall. So I guess it's a little taller. I look up smiling. You look up smiling? Okay. Uh, Sai, are you going to do anything? Um, is it attacking Tokus? It looks like it could be. I will wait till it attacks for sure. It will attack for sure. All right. Okay. So it does a bite and a claw at him. Both of those are misses. Okay, and short bow. And this one's going to run off into the woods. Short bow is going to be a hit. For 10 damage. Arrow just boom right in the side of the bear. And it roars in pain. Bambi, you're up. Um, so bites and claws count as melee weapon attacks, yes? Yes. It matters for the spell I use. Oh, that's me to die. Nope, I'm not. Um, well, we'll just do it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they do. Constitution save. Oh, that's a check. Whatever. Oh, God. Okay. Um, yeah, no damage. Well, Doesn't seem good to damage. know. It's... Okay. Good to know. Sai, you're up. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shoot another uh, arrow. Shoot bow. That's another hit. Oh my god. 12 damage. Alright, and um, 
I think I'll go ahead and move over to here and do a do another hide. Okay. So stealth. All right. So you get try to hide behind some bushes. Twenty feet from the bear. All right. Yeah. Talkus, you're up. I am sorry. Know that your cub will grow strong like its mother. And I will use a key for Fury of Blade. That's a hit. hit. Oh my god. What a hit. Alright. Holy shit. Yeah, you beat that thing down and kill it, I guess. Unless you want to do non lethal damage. Yeah, I'll do non lethal just to talk Alright, so you just beat it unconscious. Okay. It just collapses after the last strike. The last couple strikes on its head. It just, uh, just collapses over on its side. Breathing heavily. Unconscious. Anything else? Oh. Does anybody know where the father might have been? Uh, we would know if uh, father bears hang around. You could make a perception check if you... Um, you've already taken your action, though. You don't see anything. Although, yeah, although to... it's not... Well, make a survival check, Tolkus. Typically, the it's not like they're mother-father units. It's typically the mother bear that would only take care of the cubs, so you'd be surprised if there was an adult male around. Generally, the mothers try to keep their cubs away from the adult males. We should be safe. Bastion. Okay. Uh, well, looks like you done did a number to this thing. Ooh-wee. I feel like we should, uh, uh, just go ahead and drag it towards the west, to the east. Would uh, would any of us know if there's anything we can do to make territory unsavory to bears? Make a survival check. You've heard that urinating and marking your territory sometimes can drive off things like raccoons and other animals marking your territory. You're not sure if it works with bears. I believe some animals dislike urine. Perhaps if we all pee here a little bit to the west, it'll drive it to the east. I'd like to inside check him. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I believe ladies should get over I feel, here. It sounds I like bullshit like to you, Bastion. <laughs> feel like you're fucking with me. Maybe you boys should urinate over there. Just Why don't we just drag this thing all the way to the east with us? Well, how long do you think it'll be knocked out for? I don't know, just knock it out again. Seems like Toka's pretty good at punching shit. Oh, what? Oh, God, you just gonna pee right here? <laughs> are we technically out of the combat uh, initiative then? Yeah, now you are. Okay, alright. I accidentally closed it. So you figure the bear probably weighs around 400 pounds or so. Alright, if we work together, maybe we can move this. I'm thing. not dragging no bear. I also have the... Whatever yeah, that does. One size larger, so pretty much like, I want to say like almost twice your usual carrying weight. Right. Yeah, so, yeah carry one size larger is your guess. I think that's what, double? Carrying weight. I can push dragon with 480 pounds. 
Nice. What the? <laughs> I mean, you figured. Yeah, dog. Do it so, between the both Tulkus, of us. so, Tulkus, I mean, you figured to relocate the bear, two things. One is, you don't know if the cub's going to be able to find it again if you guys move it. And two would be, you'd have to move it a considerable ways. We're talking miles before. Yeah, you, know, you could even ensure that it's not going to. I mean, the rain, these things range over dozens of miles, so. Hey, Parker, come over here. Let, let's 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 do this. I call my pig over. Your pig? Has he had a pig this whole time, and we just I, I did about have it. a pig this whole time, and I forgot about it. I didn't really forget about it. I just never said like. I was like moving him. But I've had a pig this whole time. How big is your pig? He's not very big. <laughs> I'm, I'm more just like calling him over and like, he's like, the pig is just gonna like try to push, but it's not gonna do anything, you know? Okay. Well then. I mean. Look, Relocating the bear Tulkus, might be too much work. Tulkus, what, what do you want to do? Like, I feel like it's, it's not really like... This doesn't seem like we could really do this. I suppose the best thing would be to take its life, to protect others. But I will not do it. <laughs> I mean... If your pea work doesn't farm. work, I mean, that's... Yeah. I work on a farm. Oh, I can, okay. oh, yeah, oh Jesus. All right, well, it's dead now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no reason arguing over it. Let's just get it done so we can get this, on our way. You just hear this cub out there in the wilderness bleeding. Going, bah! Bah! Uh, see, yeah, heartless. Ooh, we can't believe you did that. I'll yell out to the cub and say, Go, cub, be strong. Flee to the east. Okay. Be everything your mother wanted you to be. <laughs> okay. Does the cab go away? Yeah, you hear some crashing okay. noises. Maybe headed to the east a little bit. Okay, cool. I'm harvesting from this dead bear. Okay. Or, what are you can you believe this thing? Teeth for basically whatever I can. Teeth. No, not meat. Not to eat it. <laughs> okay, make a survival check. Hello, Steve. Hey. Uh, <laughs> yeah, whatever you want. Cool. Perfectly, um, meticulously extract some teeth out of it. Cool. Well, and bear steak is very good. You seem to be doing pretty good there. Uh, this, is, this is for research. Cut off. Well, steak is for dinner. What the? What's the difference? I, uh, Waste not, want not. You know what I'm saying? Who I uh? You got I'm, a knife? You can do it. I'm not very good at this kind of thing. I'll see what I can do though. I don't, I don't as, have a, knife. as an outlander, I have a trophy. Uh, it's a uh, a bear's head that I wear on my head. So I've kind of done this before. Okay. Any chance I can get advantage on this travel check? Uh, well, you have DM inspiration. Uh, no. Yeah, I'll see. Okay. Could help you. Bring the roll. Someone can help you to give you advantage. Uh, I guess I can help yeah. him. You don't even need it. Oh, I've done this before. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Good okay. So you're trying to do what? Skin the bear or just take the head off or what? Yeah, skin it. All right, so it'll take you probably a good hour. I could use it for bedding it. To skin the bear. We should cut off some steaks, Tolkis. Very to, well. Yeah, you can easily once he's he's he expertly takes out a skinny knife and starts ch -ch 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 -ch, cutting away the bear skin almost flawlessly. And after about an hour or so, you've got this fresh bear skin. Now it just needs to be scraped and tanned, and might be okay. So something. we took the skin, the fur, the teeth, and now the meat. So is there just bone left? Oh well, God! Like Not in front of Parker, guys. Four hundred pounds. That cover like the pig's eyes. Yeah, I mean you can take as much meat as you want. I don't know. You take. Well, I mean, pounds. like uh, there, there's exposed bone. Yes. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to pull off a bone and just go to break it off. Uh, it's another survival check. Make an athletics check. You're trying to break off a bear bone. Sure. Okay. Uh, athletics. No, those things are just, I mean, those are so Hey, Bastion, can you help me here? You get a saw or something. Oh, oh, what was that? You need some help? Yes. Oh, okay. I mean, if you go over here and bow down to me and say, I'm so sorry for ever calling you anything, like, mean. I called you tall earlier. I feel like that was ironic. Just help her, farm boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine, but not in front of Porker. See it? Clo close Porker's eyes. Don't worry about Porker. Eventually, he'll get the same treatment. I mean, he <laughs> doesn't need to know that yet. And well, if he doesn't see the blade when you slice the throat, he'll be fine. I'll go ahead and pull something off. Okay. Yay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. What kind of bone did you want? Looks like a leg bone or rib bone. Or... Uh, anything. It, it's in the name of science. Okay. <laughs> Take Crack my out a rib bone. Yeah. Pull out a big old bear rib. Alright, here you go. I'm fucking weirdo. I don't know what the fuck you're gonna do with this, bookworm girl. Books have power in their own. Really? Because, I mean, I ripped the pages from the book. Doesn't seem like they got much power against me. I don't know how to respond to this. <laughs> okay, so we should probably be going now. All right. Um, keeping an eye out for strange trail marks, footprints, or whatever. Because surely they weren't talking about bears when they were talking about corn goblins. Um, they might have been talking about kobolds, which have been known to be mistaken for goblins. Ooh. You know what the cornbro corn, the, the kobold tracks look? Uh, no, I've only heard about them in my research. I've never come across them in my own, though. Well, then uh, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? I'll go ahead and call Porker. Porker. Well, I guess I'll grab Porker. So, and we'll just head off. Okay. Head Everyone head. keep a head, head, head. eyes out for tracks. I'll keep your eyes out for tracks. Okay. What is your What is your okay. passive perception? Passive perception for everyone. Uh. Is it just our thirteen? Mine says thirty. It's your, it's 10 plus, what? no, that's your movement, sorry. It's 10 plus okay. your bonus to perception. Is your 13. 13. 13. Uh, you, do see, you guys time. do see some tracks. I mean, there's all sorts of tracks in the wet mud around the, the area of this, where the water from the waterfall is collecting. Yes, they are tracks. We need to make a survival check to, or investigation. <laughs> I don't. I don't see them. Yeah. I don't see them anywhere. Yeah. What are you talking about? Talking here, it's like ah, it's, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's fine. It's, it's enough checks. Yay. Yeah, you do see a couple of small humanoid tracks. They could be goblinoid of some kind, Bambi. What? You see some small humanoid sort of tracks that seem to be something maybe, you know, you estimate they might be about three feet tall or so. It could be goblins or kobolds or something like that. Could be halflings. <laughs> could be. Yeah, do they, could be except, do they look reptilian? They have, uh, they have uh, little toe, like nail marks and things, like claw marks in the end, so pretty sure halflings, they have big looking... If you look at Bastion's feet, they don't really seem... The footprints that he leaves. Um, well, it's clawed. And both kobolds and goblins are known to be clawed. Uh, 
I'm unsure. <laughs> okay. I'm just constantly marching ahead. And I stagger back to the group. All right. So you guys march ahead for another couple hours, maybe three hours, going about another five or six miles. And you come across... Uh, the road kind of diverges away from the river for a bit as it goes through these thick wooded areas, lots of coniferous trees, like pine and dug fir, lodge, uh, lodgepole pines, and you see up ahead, you see what appears to be the corpse of some animal up ahead on the trail ahead of you. And it appears to be... Um, It's lying on the ground, the animal is. It's not moving, and there's like a ditch or a hole or something behind it. And you can hear a porker start sniffing the air. Going, Nobody roll initiative. Actually, no, you're not in initiative. Go ahead, whatever you want to do. Um, what you got, boy? I'm going to, in, I guess, survival check the animal to identify it. From back here? Sure, you could do it with, uh, yeah. You're not that far away. Go for it. I'm 60 feet away. How? Yeah, you're pretty sure it's a uh, it's a large deer. Looks like a large deer. It's got a couple, maybe a couple arrows in it. Uh, Does it look like it would be in pain? No, it looks dead. Like, is it showing discomfort? It, it looks dead. Oh, okay. Roll initiative. <laughs> roll that initiative. Roll as you nice. walk up there, Bastion. Roll in it. Roll initiative. <laughs> Does it look like it's okay? No, it's dead. Uh, it Bastion, okay? go before me. So here, I'll drop the three. What is this thing? There we kick, go. So you kick it, and yeah, you can see there's a couple, there's some crude arrows sticking out of it, and there's a pit. looks like some sort of, it's a sh shallow, like, five-foot pit. So not so shallow for you, but for other, you know, for, not saying you're short, Bastion, just saying it's about a five-foot <laughs> deep pit with, um, looks like some sort of animal trap right there in the middle of the game trail, or on the side of the game trail there. Okay, and as you walk up to it... Say it. Sai, you're up. Okay. Actually, so Bastion, what on. is that up there? Actually, hold on. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, this is where I would do... Okay, these guys were hiding, so... Let me do this. It's going to be stealth. Yeah. Okay, so 14. So, everybody who does not have a passive perception above 14, you have the surprise condition. As these little That's kobold, Yay, I'm surprised. These little kobold dudes jump <laughs> up out of That's from behind these large down trees. These fell dogs. That's pretty much everybody, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So if you don't have over fourteen, yeah. Uh, what's Porkers? He's probably surprised condition too. Alright. <laughs> so let's see. We'll give combat boom. All right, so, yeah, as you go up and kick it, you're surprised to hear this little yark, yark. These kobolds come jumping out. But they've got Oh, these... my gosh. The animal's alive. Yeah. And they've got slings. And they're going to... So C's got surprise condition. Can't move, take reactions. Tulkus can't move, take reactions. This kobold's going to run over here. This kobold's going to run out here, and they're both going to sling. Take some slingshots at Bastion. One, two. Eleven and a seven. That miss. Those are misses. Hop back over there. Then these two guys are going to hop over here. Do the same thing. Take two more slingshots. One, two. Slip attacks, that is. 
20 and an 18? Yep, those are hits. Okay, so you take six bludgeon yep, damage, you get hit with these rocks, shoo, shoo, come whizzing by. You also hear a rustling sound to your south. All right, Bastion, you're up. Uh, oh, God, what the fuck? You're s yeah, what yeah. the hell is it? You're still surprised. You can't move or take an action. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Bambi, same thing. See ya. You're up. Now you can do something. So. Okay. <laughs> she's going to realize that they uh, started tossing slings at him, and she's going to rush out. Let's see here. into the woods here and um, she's gonna shoot at this dude right here short bow miss oh god oh boy <laughs> I, I think I should probably fail. use a critical fail yeah, table critical huh? fail that's <laughs> three right there yeah, <laughs> these guys are hunkered down I mean they have they have three-quarter cover behind this thing. So. All right, roll again. Let's see if you hit a creature oh, within no. range. Oh, no. So roll. Is that... uh, yeah, it'll be Bastion. So roll to see if you can beat his AC. Do another attack roll. Oh, boy. Do another attack roll. Okay. Okay. Nope. So one goes whizzing. Okay. The arrow goes whizzing by your head from the wrong direction, Bastion, from behind you. As Sia shoots an arrow right over your left shoulder. What I'm the fuck? Use, uh, buds into the down tree log. The down log right there. Bonus action to hide. Just because I pushed oh, you so much. Oh son my god. Son of a god. bitch. Mother fucking okay. shit. Tulkus. Wow. Okay, so all of these trees do, by the way, if you're in the trees, it's going to be rough terrain, but it will give you some cover. Focus. You're up. Okay. Alright, I'll move up to there. These guys are half cover? Three quarter. Three quarter. You just barely see the tops of their heads. Alright, and then I'm going to use my action to die. Dodge. Okay, dodge. No, All right. not too well. Right. You're running up there? Okay. Right here. Uh, right as you come across this area here, a pit opens up underneath you. And I need you to make a deck save or fall into that pit. Oh, boy. Okay. Whoa! So now, yeah, you're like, boop, right into the pit. So, you don't take any damage, but you are pr basically prone. Yeah. Prone. It's fitting that I see all black. What happened? Did I move your character to the map? Oh, I moved your character to the map. There you go. <laughs> so there you go. So you're, you fall into the pit prone. So just two, you know, you're you're completely covered, basically in the pit while you're prone. All right. Uh, you can move your path movement to stand up if you want. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. I'll stand up. So okay. I'm standing okay. in the pit. All right. How deep is the pit? They're about five. It's about five feet deep. So. Be oh, so I'm looking deep. out of it. Yeah. You would not be able to see the kobolds at this point. You're just going to see these huge logs. All right, so everyone just sees my head sticking out right, of the pit. Right, right, your neck and head sticking out of the pit. <laughs> the nice. You're actually shorter than Bastion. All right, that's my turn. All right. Hey! Okay, you hear more rustling from down here. These guys are going to pop up. Ten, twenty, five, ten, twenty, five, thirty. 
30. So, this kobold over by Bambi is going to take a sling attack at Bambi. 14. Looks like that's a hit. Bambi. Sorry. Um, oh, that's a major. That's muted. Yeah, that's a hit. Okay. All right, so it's five damage, five bludgeon damage to Bambi. And these three guys, their little axes here, are going to. Well, we'll call them daggers. The little daggers are going to stab at Bastion. Uh, were they? Did any of them have to dash out of the forest because it's rough terrain? No, they were. They started right. So that's thirty. So rough terrain is 10, 20, 25, 30. So we're here. So 10, 20, 25, 30. 10, 20. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Go one, two, Wait, 10, five, three. What? Started right here. So it's 10, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 Oh, sorry, 17, 16, so that's going to be one hit. Yeah, 17 hit. hits. Second one's going to be yep. a 14, 14, 13, and miss. And then the last one is roll. Uh, it's a 16. 16's a miss as well. Yeah, it's a miss. All right. So that's one hit for three piercing damage. All right. So I'm running out of there. Bastion. Bastion. Oh, wait. Sorry, right. these guys here with the little misses. Boop. Boop. And they're going to do, we'll say, two slingshots at Bastion. Oh, God. Yeah, that's a hit. <laughs> they're going to pop back in, think, think, and then we'll go. These two guys are going to pop out and do two slingshots at Tulkus. And I'll say you've got three quarter cover, so it's plus four. Um, but they've got advantage because they've got a buddy within five feet of you. So. So the last one hit. Why did you roll four? I don't know why I rolled two on you and two on Tulkus. Two on Bastard. Two oh, on oh, never mind. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Ignore, so, ignore me. I, ignore I have me. Something. Ignore me. <laughs> ignore me. All right. So one of them just skips across the ground and goes <laughs> right up the side of Tulkus's head for three damage. And they're gonna jump back behind the little. Wouldn't Tulkus have cover? Yeah, he had three quarters cover. Yeah, he did. But a twenty is still gonna hit. Oh, okay. Okay. That's a, actually that's what they needed was a twenty. All right, yeah, Master, <laughs> you're up. Oh God. Everything fucking hurts. <laughs> oh, rage. No matter how sophisticated our sound right now, Tulkus, it still hurts. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my DM inspiration and kill him. Okay. Do you have reckless attacks? Warhammer attack rages. Okay. I do not. Is that third level? Oh, wait, I do have reckless yeah, attacks. Yeah, I thought you had reckless attacks. Anyway, I'm not saying you should take it. I'm wondering because you never did before. Yeah. All right. So uh, yeah, you cream that one. Raging. Just clock him. He's dead. He's dead instantly. Okay. All right. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use my shield to hit this one. So shield raging. Uh, he's dead too. That is yeah. not. That's five damage. Five. Okay. He's not dead. He's almost dead. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then. Mm. Oh, sorry. No. Five. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, he is? Oh, okay, yeah, all right. He's dead. All right, then I'm going to kind of circle around him and get into the forest right here. Okay. Kind of hide up against a tree and just kind of... Oh, God! 
Okay. Uh, anything else? That's all I got. I think that's all I got. Bambi. Okay. Um, I am going to ice knife at the one in front of me. Ice knife. That is a hit. Uh, that'll kill him. It's just this shard of ice comes shooting out of your hand right into his neck. The thing goes, ah! spins around. It actually gets pinned to one of the trees behind it. Oh, yay. <laughs> That's not why I did that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, then I'm just going to move to... Actually... I'm going to move over to where it's as hot he is. That's 25, right? To go right there? Or yes. is, would that be 30? That is 25. Cool. Yeah. yeah, and I'm going to stay right here, slightly behind cover. Okay. Sigh. I'm going to move over to there. Actually, more like... Damn. Or not. Yeah, right there. No. Guess I'll stay right where the fuck I was, because at least I could see shit then. Okay. <clears throat> stay right there. Uh, use my bonus action to uh, hide. And then hold my action for when one of these guys here Pops jump up. out to make their attack and want to shoot them with the bow. Okay. Yep. All right. So you're in the same spot you were, you didn't move at all? Right, yeah, I thought I did, but... Alright, Tulkus. How much to climb out of the pit? Uh, it's pretty easy, it's just being athletics, DC 10, to climb out. Especially for you. Yeah, for you, yeah. For you it might even be easier. Say 5. Because you're tall. So, yeah, that'll pull you out. That'll be, yeah, that'll be half your movement to climb out, though. Yeah. Alright, so or not half, left. it'd be like All right, so, uh, five feet. So it'd be ten feet. It's ten feet of your movement to climb out. Okay. It's ten feet of your movement. All right, thirty left. Um of course that. Damn it. Ooh, roll the crit fail. Oh you just hit the snap! Your a part of your quarter staff breaks a little bit. There's a big crack in it. Oh dear. Uh, but you flip around and kick him for six. And that will drop him. All right, then I will jump back into the pit. Okay. <laughs> nice. Do you jump and, like, duck down into the pit? Into yeah, the pit? To, to get cover. To get full cover? Okay. So you're not you're not looking out at all then, right? I can't see anything but you would have full cover. Okay. Unless yes, something walks right up to you. Okay. Got it. Alright. Uh, these little kobold dudes. Just gonna jump out again. You can take your shot. Sai. I don't know why I rolled twice, just that first one. Yeah, first one'll hit. And that'll drop him. He just jumps out, gets ready to Slang to to try to hit the partially seen bastion over there, and you just drop him right in the neck. He's like, ah! goes down. The guy behind him is going to see that happen, and he's going to try to sling at you. Give me plus two cover. Miss. Okay, that's a miss, and then he's going to find back here, and these other two guys are going to pop out. Let's see, they're both gonna sling at Psy. We'll do one on Psy and one on Bastion. Uh, you both have plus two cover. So one on Psy. Oh, they can see me still? Yeah, they can see you from there. And it should be a disadvantage. I don't know why it's not. Let me roll the second one. Uh, this is, that's a miss. And then on Psy and Bastion, on two. 13 is a miss. And, uh, I'm gonna hop back over here. Bastion. Can I see them at all? Oh, wait. Can I see them? They can see you right Ragnar. here. Yeah. But they, you can't see them. I, I can't I can't see them at all. You can from here. But not from there. Oh, there you can. That was yeah. weird. 
Yeah, that was really that was weird. I don't know. Yeah, shouldn't have um, been anything, man. That's weird. Yeah, now now I've oh, hole on left so side. Of, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I couldn't see anybody. You must be uh, right on a. You must be right on a node. Like a. Yeah, maybe. Um. Okay. So I'm. So raging. So I'll come out a little. And. Uh, I can see this guy, right? Just the top of his head, yeah. Alright, so that was five feet of movement to get out, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Ten feet of movement, and I'm gonna... Rage throw a javelin at him. Okay. Taste the end of my spear! Oh, that's a hit. Yeah, you just he just is looking up, you can just barely see his eye, it's like... BAM! It's like throwing one of those cornhole... Cobs right through the hole. It just seems his eye seems that big from where you are. Just boom. That's looks hit. like looks like old uncle teach his teachings were great. Drop him. Uh, then uh, time to get time to get out of here. Uh, then, uh, 10, 15, and then oh, wow, that is a note. Um, 15, and then twenty five. Okay. And that's it. Bambi. And I move forward. Okay. I literally don't see anybody. Um. Well then, I guess I'm just gonna ready an action of firebolt. That's the first thing I see. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Again, I'm gonna try to do pretty much the same similar thing. See, that's the same thing right there as a node. Okay. Well, that's where it so, stops. That's where the yeah. you know, big tree there. Yeah. I guess I'll stick to right where I'm at. And, um. Yeah, just hold, uh, hold my shot until one of them pops out. Okay. Just knock an arrow, aim in, and just wait for something to come right up in this alley. All right, Talkus. All right, climbing out. Okay. Running up to here. Stop. And using my bonus Stop. action Stop. to turn. Stop. Oh. <laughs> boy. Okay. Another so pit. Another pit. Make a deck save. DC 10. Okay. Yeah, you leap over that. You fall for that again. Claps, you, claps underneath you. Okay. Keep going. Right, and I'll run up to Stop. here. Stop. 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 <laughs> All right, make another deck save. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you go down face first into that. You're like, ha ha! I leapt over that one, and then you're looking back at the one you just leapt over and step right into the one in front of you. <laughs> face first, right into it. Three in a row, clever. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll use the rest of my movement to stand up, but like, prone, so I'm still. Let's see, use 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah. You need you need half your movement to stand up, so you need 20 movement to stand up. Or 15 at least to stand up. I think you're stuck, right? Move 10, I have 15, 40. Move 10 to get out. Right. 10. Oh, yeah, so you have just enough. So you stand up. Okay. Boop. All right. <coughs> Kobolds, uh, you hear a yark, 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 and they come crashing off in this direction. All right, Bastion, you're up. Really? You hear, you hear some crashing, <laughs> crashing sounds down here. Or some 10 sounds. 15. Huh. Hey. Are they gone? Oh. Are they gone? Looks like they might have ran off. Maybe they're going to uh, tell somebody that uh, they've encountered us. 
Usually kobolds, there's uh, quite a few in a group. Uh, gotta... I think you hit the nail on the head, Bambi. Funny. Unfortunately, yes. And my turn, my reach subsides. Ugh. Okay. I'm yeah. dying. Uh... I'm gonna go... That's 20? Yes? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, so I can't move any farther. Just got dash. five. Yeah. Um, you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna dash. Okay. That is a node. Um, yeah, you're a moment then. There, <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> At least it gives me vision. <laughs> Alright. Sorry. Okay. Um, I'm gonna tell... Um, Bastion that uh, Tolkis has a sab that could probably help. Let's see here. It's, I'm going to go ahead and dash up to here. And then um, I'm going to keep an eye out for uh, more traps. Give a good look over. All right. Okay. Um, you're gonna dash, then keep a lookout for traps. Unfortunately, just past these traps right here. Yeah. So make a deck save as you run across this spot right here. Okay. All right. Yeah, hey. You managed to circumnavigate it as you see it start to crumble in underneath you. The leaves and the branches that were held up by these thin sticks. They collapse as you run past them. We'll be like another hole here. Okay. They're just grand. They're littered with traps. Keep your eyes out. And uh, can I do a perception check for any? Yeah, go for it. Perception okay. check. Okay. You're pretty sure that this there's one here as well. There's one more over there. So you may want to keep more towards the uh, south edge. Okay, that's my turn. Okay. Focus. All right. Um, <clears throat> you were right. Uh, I didn't have enough to get up, so I'll get up now. So 20 and then 30 to get out. 40 to get here. Yeah, and you can see over the edge of this log quite easily. There's nothing there anymore. The last the they're all gone. Off, yeah. We should maybe try to track them down or catch them. These are out of combat, at least for now. Uh, everything hurts. I'm going to go back to the group after not seeing anything. Okay. Actually, I'm going to go over to the dead things. Okay. And put notes, various, various notes on kobolds. You look like you could use a minute to catch your breath there, Bastion. Maybe take a little short rest. I would love that. Okay. Guys, I think Bastion needs a rest. Why are you smart? I'd like to check for the kobold tracks. All right, make a survival check. Or make a, sorry, make a perception check, because you're looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like he's, he's always too hard. Just... It doesn't look like they left any good tracks. I'm going to check the kobolds themselves and see if they've got anything worth anything on them. Okay. Um, would I have any charcoal on me? Sure. Actually, I have ink. I'm going to make a footprint. Like, I'm going to... Press. I'm gonna cover their foot in ink and then press it on. Okay, so like stamp it onto a page. paper. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Now I have a footprint of them. Okay. You guys are gonna rest right here in the middle of the road. Whatever the team needs. Also, um, 
Aside from slings, what do they carry? They have daggers and slings. They also have these little small, uh, like, um, they're basically wearing sort of like loincloth, these sort of leathery hide loincloths. A couple of them have, it looks like, small rudimentary spears. I mean, they're really crudely put together. They're obviously effective, but crude. Um, I am going to take a sling off of, or not sling, a uh, loincloth off of one of them, and then a dagger as well. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go grab my spear, but before each time, each uh, space I move, I'm going to like hit the butt end of the spear on the ground. I you, wait, I thought you threw your spear. Yeah, I have five. Okay, all right. With the other one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I all have right. four Just more. Just the way you said it, I'm like, I want to go. Okay. Yeah, I was. I want. Yeah, no, sorry. Right. Yeah, I have four more javelins. So okay. I use the javelin uh, to kind of yeah. like hit the Make, ground uh, each time. I'll give you a perception check with advantage. Vantage. Yeah, you find this is the. There is another pit there, but that's the only other one that you find. The one right in front of me? This one right here. Oh, it's just that one? Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, so it seems walk, clear. Between walk, there and the and there. the other, where your spear is, it seems clear. All right. Yeah, so I go over here and grab my okay. spear out of the guy's chest. Okay. Um, face, whichever it hit. I'm also going to break the antler on the deer okay. with my staff. I'm going to whack it with the staff. Okay, you break a piece of the antler off? Sure. Yeah. Spice Is that uh, just going to be a melee attack roll? Or... Uh, it's a survival check. Does it just happen? Survival's fine. Just, it'll determine like how nice a piece that you break off. Oh, yeah, well. you, just, you, break <laughs> off of, you break off one of the tips of the antlers. I mean, it's you know about three inches long, but you know it might be enough for a specimen for what you want to use. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna rest next to. I'm gonna put my back onto this log. Kind of short rest. Um, and then I am also gonna follow Bastion's pathway from here to here. Regen here. Can I try to reinforce the part of my staff that's splintered with rope? Yeah, sure. To bind it with some rope and twine and just reinforce it? Sure. Go ahead and make a survival check. Yeah, no problem. You just tie that splintered piece, tie it up really tight so it's all bound at the bottom, wrapping the rope over and over around it. Uh, that should hold. Should hold you at least for the rest of the rest of your adventure, I think. Sweet. So you're making an investigation checks here? Sai, if you're talking, we can't hear you. Yeah, I did an investigation check when we were checking out the bodies. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, you did... Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so the daggers are really rudimentary. They're like flint daggers with, it looks like, bone handles. Same thing with the spears. These little small javelins are like a flint head with a long tied with sinew to a long wooden shaft. Yeah. Oh god, this map is huge. Just a bunch of crap. More after this log. Uh, are we short resting? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If we can. Then. Uh, is that where you guys going to be for the next hour? Right there? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to roll a hit dice. Okay. You get yeah. three health back. I'm definitely going to. Alright, you hear some 
crashing down here. Sai and while they're resting, you hear some crashing down here. Sai and uh, Tulkus. And you see a little kobold come out and just turn and flee back down this way. Oh, God. He sees you. Holy crap. Nice roll. Hit yeah, I'm going to chase after him. Okay. With uh, an arrow already knocked in my bow. All right, he ran all the way down here. Um, as I see him run over, I'm going to go here and watch us what they are doing. So yeah, here you're just at a sheer wall. So right, right now you're facing like a sheer basalt wall that goes straight up, probably... 80, 100 feet straight up. There's no way that kobold could have gone up that wall. You figure it must have squeezed back through here through these trees. And that's where I'm headed. Okay. Can I check the wall to see if there's some sort of hidden entrance? Yeah, go ahead. Make a perception check. Uh, no, it looks like just a sheer wall to you. It doesn't look like there's any kind of entrance or anything there. All right, Sai, so you see right there appears to be an opening in the wall there. I think I found something. Um, and as I hear him say that, forward, sort of. That's not right. So, did that interrupt our short rest, or no? Did we finish? No, that can happen at the tail end of your short rest there. So, <laughs> that's I a no think This is probably a good place to stop for the night before you go into the. Oh, stop Sorry, right there! Enough. Oh, Bastion, you need to make a deck save right there. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have danger so I up. do have advantage. Yeah, you all hear this click. Up upside down. You all hear this click, and whoosh. Uh, you just manage to step out of the noose as it gets as the snare goes off and sets set off right next to you. Oh, wow, I like how you have three rolls saver because you're a half flame. Yep, because I'm a half flame. Okay, so there's a snare here. Whoosh. Here he is. Loud noise. And, uh, yeah, you can see a little bit inside of the cavern there. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's a good old farmer sense. Let's see. Uh, so this is a four foot high by three foot wide cave or tunnel at the base of the sheer basalt cliff. Uh, you Obviously, you can see little tracks and things all around it. Um, and... You can see some of the light going in there. It appears to go straight back. It was probably some sort of natural cavern worn away, eroded by water. That looks like it's been actually modified and hewn by some sort of mining activity and enlarged. And the it just goes. The tunnel appears to go straight back into this side of this cliff here. Anybody know how we could just shut the tunnel off? I mean, we could just shut the tunnel off. Ooh, I don't get it. I mean, if the coal bolts are coming out of the tunnel, then we just shut the tunnel off. Oh, you mean like Ooh. block it? Oh. Yeah. Uh, well, there Close were the off. logs up above. The conversation for another, for another time. Yeah. yeah. That's a good place to call it for now. Good place to stop. Yeah, because that man. whole cobalt layer is a big old freaking... Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, I think our party's a chicken. <laughs> yeah, skip it too. Who you call yeah. it? Um, I probably won't be here next week if we wanted to continue with this, but I will definitely be here the week after that. Uh, I think the next, week after. next week is finals for me. 